It matters not. Let's proceed on and see what the new day has for us. We did, after all, beat up some fox inside the forest, and that fox, I think, turned into a woman, and that woman is uh, Hina, Hina's mother. So surely if we go, oh no, <laughs> the little girl downstairs wants to talk to us again. That didn't go well before, I doubt it'll go so well this time. All right, let's, let's just jump back into the kanji mines. Oh, are we soul-sphering everybody who arrives? Maybe that's what she was trying to tell us when I wasn't listening last time. So, you know, saying Marvin Kuhn, she seems quite happy to see us. She better be, we rescued her mother here. Uh, Hina chan, Okasan Genkini Natan Dane. Yes, Hina, your mother seems to be doing fine. She's saying thank you. Oh, and she's also speaking thank you. Very nice. Marriage proposal. Mmm. Well, I don't know if she's an available bachelorette. Mmm. I think it would be new for one to come with baggage, but. By simply looking at her, I can't help but feel that she is not going to be an eligible bachelorette. Uh, Hina's mother, Misa Sagi Des. Misa Sagi Des. Does that mean her name is Misa Sagi? That would make sense. There we go, and her name changed there. She's the only one that doesn't look like a child so far, says Jagger, and that's exactly how we can be quite confident she's not a marriage candidate. Uh, right, here we go. That weird thing with a bow with a line through it at the start, I just... Uh, <laughs> just delving right into Japanese. This is exhausting. Even at the height of my studying, it wasn't this, uh, this intense. Regardless, something or other to Hina Kara... So, something from Hina, it's probably having heard from Hina, Anata, Samano, Koto, yes, okay, so, she's heard about us from Hina. Sure. Slow down there, Misasagi, I'm catching up. I didn't even notice the ears, says Jagger. Oh god, you're getting numb to it, and that's a problem. Uh, right, Hina saw something, village, something else. Oh boy, my head is not screwed on for this today, and yet we have to push through it, as Borm says here. Uh, no koto mo taskete ita daita. Something about helping Hina. Hina Mitsukete village in the. Oh jeez, right. What what is she even actually saying here? I don't quite know. Watashi no koto mo taskete ita daita toka. Hmm. I don't know, something has been happening revolving around helping and Tina. Probably that... Hina's been singing our praises for going out and saving you from the forest, that's what I'll go with. And that, uh, Sa Oh, she's calling us Sama. Whoa, it's a little too formal here. And that's the Sama... Uh... Oh, right. There, there's that word benefactor again. I'm sure benefactor isn't the right word to be using here, so let's go with, uh, you really saved me. Hontoni arigato gozai. Really, really thank you. Yeah, stop thanking me in non-monetary forms here. Uh, well, that is, uh, to, I think it's tozen or tosatsu? Probably tozen. Tozen no koto o shita. Dake desu yo. Eh, no big deal. I probably just... You're probably overblowing what it's all about. Honestly, that boss was very easy. So save the thanks for when we fight something difficult. 
Uh, ah, nante yoihito nano desyo. So she's saying, oh, we're such a good person. Anata sama koso makoto no something person. You are such a something person. With eyes and mouth and authority and person. Uh, she's probably just saying that we're such a really nice person. We're a nice guy. So she's already putting us in the nice guy category. Before we ascertain if she's a bachelorette or not. Uh, Kore kara wa... Hmm? Morning, noon, and evening? What? From, from here on, morning, noon, and evening, I will three times something or other. I don't like the way this is going. <laughs> Marvin doesn't either, he says, oh, that, that's a bit much. Okay, uh, Murakumo here is saying that his sister is a bit of an idiot. Gotta remember that these two are brother and sister, if I'm to understand it, because he is Hina's uncle, and she is Hina's mother, so... Uh, Moon Factory doesn't tend to do that much of family ties. Families tend to be awfully standalone, so it's kind of nice to see that kind of extension. Uh, Zure Teru? Zure Teru? I have no idea what that means. Oh, but uh, the sister is... The sister is obviously not very happy at being called a blithering idiot. Hey, you want to say that one more time to my face? Come on, enter the octagon with me. We'll see who's ending up standing. Okay, right. They're, uh, they're clearly at each other's throats, and Murakumo is taking the verbal beat down. Okay, so he's an absolute wet blanket. And with all that fur, I bet he stinks when he's wet. And he's apologizing for his transgressions. Are we getting a literal cat fight now? Are they cats? The mother there seems to have some sort of horns, and I, I don't know any cats that have horns. But then again, the, the, the brother doesn't have horns. And they have, well, the brother's one with fur on his body. I don't know. We shouldn't look into this too much. What we need to do is summon an expert on the matter. Jagger, what do you take on all this? Right, uh, Ano Murakumo-san. So that, uh, that Murakumo man, the, the big purple furry in front of us. Tajiroi deru. I don't know what a Tajiroi deru is. But you know what? I made a terrible mistake on the last streaming session, and not once did I mention my Oxford Japanese mini dictionary that I always keep to hand. So I'm going to put it into early use, trying to find out what a tachi ro i deru is. I'm assuming it's a verb since it ends in ru, but I cannot be 100% certain on that. Ta 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 ta. Ta ji ro. Tabi, tachi, tasu, tashi, taji. I do not have it in the Oxford Japanese mini dictionary. What a shame, I guess, that sponsorship deal is off. So I have no idea. Okay, what, uh... Oh, well, whatever we said shocked her. Oh, oh, ho, 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 kore wa o mi something shieto koru wo? Um... Uh, well, that's looking and... Uh, is that... that's not withering, is it? Or it's, it's old and... old and flower. I think it has something to do with kind of withering away. So she's probably saying, oh my, what a disgraceful look that is. <laughs> what does the old Oxford Dictionary hash still not sponsored say the transition for seed is? God knows. 
Right. Kono Tabino Go. Right, you're still talking about kindness. Trouble, troubled heart is kindness, right? Yeah, I'm certain it is. Um, but I don't know what she's meaning about it. Alright, let's just skip the first line and go for the second. Watashi ni dekiru koto ga areba nande mo oshiate kudasai. Uh, I think she's saying she will do anything to return the favor for how much that I've saved her for. Well, I can think of something. Sore de wa goki gen. Goki gen yo. Well, she's starting with sore des. She's probably saying, well, that's that. Off I trot. Uh, well, they run the bathhouse, don't they? So I wouldn't mind some free baths. And much to my delight, we didn't have you do anything. You're reading a book there. Does it tell you how to read kanji? Something about that book seems backwards. Look at how the, the lines seem to start from the center and go out. Madness. Okay, well, good on us. That first dungeon was a bit of a joke, though. Hopefully there are more bigger, harder ones to come. Oh, new. New quests for us. Uh, the little kid, Julian, still wants us to be friends with everybody. Ooh, it's Hans. What do you want? Uh, farm dragon. Farm dragon. Ni crystal. Oh, okay. Give me a crystal from the farm dragon. Or he's going to give me a crystal for the farm dragon. Who is giving to who is a little unclear to me. Well, I need to go and see Hans to up my relationship with him anyway. So we'll get. Oh, oh, Privens. I guess we're not going to go see him, he's just going to telepathically talk to us once again. Ah, he always calls himself OG-san. He doesn't look that old. Um, OG-san, which he keeps referring to himself as, has something amazing to say, so listen up, bucko. Nanka Okina Crystal, big old crystals. Tessa, I don't know what Tessa means at the end of it all. Um, big, oh, Crivens, I do not know those kanji. It's like a house with a mouth and a beret on top of it, following big and some bastardization of expensive. Ah, uh, that's anyone's guess what it is. Yeah, I, I don't even have a clue on that one. So he's a psycho who talks about himself in third person? Stay away, Jake. Nah. It's charming in its own way. Besides, having seen him brandishing his halberd, it's hard for me to say no to Heinz here. Uh, what's he saying? He's saying something about some goods. Goods de hanan ni honto wa moto something or other using... Okay, I don't really know. He's talking about these giant crystals and there are ways to use it, or so he says. He's doing the whole your old man thing, talking about himself. Oh, well, come to think of it, we had that in State of Decay too, didn't we? We had the, the guy who's clearly not old keep on moaning about how old he was. That amused me greatly. Um... Something about the sky. Dragon. Okay, so some the, the the dragon that's in the sky is 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 is. Oh my goodness! I'm. We only just started, and this thing's throwing a whole lot of kanji at me that I've never seen before. Would it kill the game to give me some hurigana here? Something's up with the Sky Dragon, really? Honto... Honto ka? Honto ka? So is he turning really into a question? Uh, do ka o jis... Okay, so the... The big... The big dragon, he wants to find out if something's really true or not about it, but what is he going to find out? 
Uh, crystal, big crystal, farm dragon. Hick. Um, that five with the line through it. I, I don't really know what you're all about. Uh, well, there's something about fruit going on, but I doubt it's literally about fruit. Okay, well, let's just rub this giant uh, crystal at the dragon and see what happens. Although it's giving us a bit of an explanation how to do that. Uh, crystal thingamajiggers. Farming ground. Farming ground something going up. Something about the, the soil will be enriched using these crystals. Oh boy, is it a return of runies? Surely not. Uh, right, the, oh, the kanji buffet here. Ah, and players in to say that to that kanji with the fruit means effect. And maybe it's not fruit, but I thought it was fruit. Mm. I got a drill. Okay, something's going appu with this. And the farm's area... Oh, The area of the farm might also go up thanks to these crystals. That, I would be very welcome. So I'm going to assume that the soil quality and the area of the farm is going to grow up if we use certain kinds of crystals. What else you got for me? Crystal no kakera wa farm dragon ni something or other. Erare nai no de crystal shop, <laughs> which they put in the kanji for. How thoughtful! Wait, is that crystal shop kanji? It doesn't look like crystal shop kanji. Hmm. Well, whatever it is. Um. No, that that's like bright and something. Unless that's the name of the crystal shop. I didn't check that. Uh, crystal. I think that was ex. Changing because we had that coming up before. Kudasai. Okay. He did tell us before about bringing crystals to him to turn into other kinds of crystals. So maybe the idea is that I need to bring these shards to him. And there are five of them, notably. Let's try it out. We'll bring them to... Oh, he's not going to be open yet, is he? Well, I'll do my farming work first. All I see are smiley faces, says Jagger. <laughs> That's probably not racist. Are these things ready for um, for being harvested? Wow. Wait, these look like weeds. They're not weeds. They're actual spinach. Horen something. Spinach very rarely drops any kind of runes, so I'm not too fussed about... Uh, about making sure that they're harvested last. Oh my days, could he stop talking to the plants? He's saying, here's some water and I hope you grow up big and strong. And occasionally he's just going yatta, which is kind of, it's good, but also... Also just an exclamation. Right, well, we got some goodies. Now, here's what I tend to do. I pluck one, and then I pluck two, and then I pluck three. And if they don't give me a seed after the third one, I grab the old sickle, and I chop it down, the last one, so that I can get a higher leveled seed. The seed is level two. It was not a given that I was going to get um, a seed out of these. Oh, but this is good. Tomatoes regrow. Glad to hear it. This feels slower and clunkier than doing it in Rune Factory a 4, which is a bit of a shame. Oh Christ, I had more toy herbs here. I'm going to feel like a fool if one of them drops a seed. And none of them drop seeds. Well, that's good. And what are these things again? That's ah, just more... Uh, more bleeding cabbages. Uh, what, else, what are these things again? Oh, it's grass! And I think uh, grass regrows all the time, so I can just happily pluck away from those. A nice haul. 
And let's be sure to sell what we've got. I thought Brit says tomato with the glottal stop. I don't know what you're talking about. Right, what I've picked up could always be given away as presents. Like, people tend to like flowers. But I like the 65 gold I get out of my flowers. The spinach is also worth 65 gold. Not bad for something that grows so quickly. Certainly better than these caboos that I've got. Otherwise... Is there anything else that I should... Oh yeah, of course, the tomatoes. 540 gold per tomato. That is very good. Unfortunately, oh no, very fortunately, I did get more higher level seed stuff. I might just hold on to that for later, though. The farming aspect is really, really rather clunky, unfortunately. Hmm. Oh well. I don't have monsters yet, so I can't uh, throw my grass into a grass bin, or can I? Right, there we go. I shoved my weeds into there. I hope it was just the weeds and not my nice herbs. Good. Excellent, even. Now, let's go and confirm something up here. My professor in English language studies lied. Of course he did. He's in education. Lying got him there, and he's not going to stop now, is he? Oh, oh, oh. Tell me more about that, because I haven't seen you before. Uh, that I can only assume is bronze, because it's not iron. Increases defensive value by four. And I could use this to make some more advanced weaponry. But I've only got the one, so I'll probably just hoard it like a dragon for now. Uh, but the real reason I came up here was for this. I'm quite certain that this is a feeding bin. People tried to tell me it was a fertilizer bin. I don't think so. There we go, it took the four grass. I don't like it being up here, so I'm going to take it with me. Mm. How long did it take Jake to remove all the boulders from his field? Oh, it took quite some time to get my Hanma. But we did eventually get our Hanma. Probably shouldn't just ship sticks as is, but I'm going to anyway. Uh, our potatoes still aren't ready, sadly, so that quest is going to take forever and a day. 110 gold for some bronze is not a bad deal. I could also sell all my wood for good money, but money hasn't really been an issue for us for quite some time. So I'm not going to be stressing over that. Nope, I'm satisfied enough with this. We'll drop off all of our lumber and stone there and continue to get more stones. <laughs> What could skill Rebur Apu possibly mean? He sounds awfully happy for just finding some junk ore there. Ah, but it makes me happy to know that we're into the bread and butter of this kind of game. Lots and lots of repetitive actions grinding our way up. Very often I lament how much I do not enjoy grinding in games. But that's not entirely true. I don't like grinding that isn't very fun. Something like a Final Fantasy game grinding up levels from your fighting, that to me isn't very fun. But there's something I find very fun about the repetitive actions that you do in Rune Factory. There's something so very zen about tending to your farm like this. The downside is that a bit of the zen is reduced... Uh, well, quite a bit of it reduced from just how how clunky this game feels in 3D. You want to do everything you do in Rune Factory 4, which is polished to a mirror's edge. A mirror's edge? A mirror's surface, I suppose. Um, but the, the transition to 3D for the mainline Rune Factory here has not been a glorious one, in my opinion. But my opinion's very correct there. Alright, spats and freckles went in here. We need to Go and tell her how much we like her every day. A mirror sheen. Let's go with that. Wait, what's an NPC doing in here? Oh, it's some seed guy. Otsukare sama desu, which I'm pretty sure is just some greeting, but I don't know what it literally means. 
Ja, uh, oh yeah. Dostandai. Dostandai. Probably just what's what's up, what's going on. Taske. Oh, right. Can I help you out there at all? Oh, he's the one asking us that. Uh, hmm. I don't know what the first one is all about. The second one is nah, nothing. Let's see what we can ask him for help with. Oh, he actually has a voice, uh, a voice to him. Right, what are you going to, wait, what is he going to do? What kind of support are we getting from him? Oh, whatever, and this is me telling him to stop helping us out. I don't get it. Are you going to, are you going to join me on my outings? It doesn't appear to be an additional party member here. I don't know what kind of support he was uh, going to be giving us there. And then I can tell him to stop. I don't get it at all. How nice. She's telling us to give it our all today as well. And we will start by giving you... Uh, Navigating menus in in the uh, Joy-Con is not easy. There we go. Here's a medical herb. And once again, she says San-Q. So clearly is the one that knows the most English around here. It makes sense that she be the bachelorette we go for. Oh, it's raining! It's actually raining. Right, right. Korewa, Korewa, Marvin San, Hina's. Yes, you already introduced yourself. We know who you are. It's not Seed Jake, it's Seed. Uh, sure. Uh, what's your biggest criticism that didn't translate well to 3D then? Um, biggest issue, I'd say, is how clunky it is. Everything you can do in Rune Factory 4 is buttery smooth, but here your character floats around a whole lot. And yet he locks in a lot for a lot of his actions. Oh, it's it's just unpleasant to uh, to handle. Well, maybe unpleasant is pushing it, but it's nowhere near as pleasant as it is in Room Factory Four. Uh, Kono, something or other, the kindness, surely something. She's just in the same thing again, isn't she? Kore karamo yoroshiku onegai something. Oh goodness. This is, this is that Japanese phrase where they bow and say, oh, I look forward to being in your care in the future or working hard alongside you. Something to that. Yes, Yoroshiku Onegashimasu. Are you going to comment about the weather? Yeah, there we go. Um, ki kimono? Hmm. Well, you're saying you're weak to rain, I think. And sheepo. Sheepo? Oh, don't know what you mean in there. Sheepo mo sukari shimete shimai shimai. She's not using human language here. We can disregard whatever she says. Watashi no ski na mono desu What is it that I like? Uh, mochiron. What? Uh, mochiron. Hmm? Mochiron either means nothing or of course, and I forget which. Mochiron, mochiron. It sounds more like of course to me, but what's she talking about? My favorite thing is... That's ten, right? Tempura. Tempura? You mean the food? My favorite thing is, of course, tempura. I don't know why she ends with des wa. Maybe the wa is just characterizing her in some, uh... <laughs> some way. I didn't know you wrote tempura with the kanji there. Isn't that the kanji for heaven? Um, oh boy. We're talking about cooking here, aren't we? This is this is going to fly over my head. 
Uh, Saku no something. Hukura Toshita something else. Oh, that's um, that's ingredients, isn't it? Yeah, it's like. Yeah, well, it has ingredients there, and she's talking about cooking, so it must be cooking ingredients. Tempura nara ikura demo tabete shimai mas. Right. She's just going on about how much she loves tempura. Good for you. I need to go and see the old man. When are you going to do a month of Japanese cooking? Well, it would be quite nice to just do a bunch of Japanese uh, cooking in the kitchen. Just Because one of the things I'm doing this year is cooking things I've never cooked before once a week. Of course, the difficulty might be acquiring some of those things, especially here in Sweden. No, I'm not going to do a cooking stream. I'm not fond of being on stream myself. I like my stream to be about games. Yonda? Whoa, what? Well, he's very happy to see us regardless, because we remembered his birthday, and I bet nobody else did in this entire town. Okay, the rain... the sound of the rain is... Heart? Mmm. Mmm. This heart keeps getting used in contexts that don't make sense to me, so there must be something I'm missing about the way Japanese people talk about their hearts. So let's just say the sound of the rain is putting his heart at ease. Con. Days like this. Something about rain. Re runo mo aridato omo. Well, since that kanji has rain and even more water, I'm going to assume it means wet. And he's saying, days like these, I think you'll get wet. Um, how does that even go up with the first one? Rainy, sound like this. Makes, oh god, I don't know. <laughs> this kind of phrase goes over my head. Heart is kokoro, which is soul. Uh-huh. So the sound of the rain penetrates his soul so deeply that he thinks about getting wet. Let's, let's gloss over that one. Uh, kaze o hika nai yo... Oh, we're probably telling him don't catch a cold. Which is something I imagine the Japanese tell each other a lot. The deadly Japanese cold could finish you off, old man. Uh, oh, we might not be far off saying that here. Oh, Jisan... Oh, Christ, I knew what that insect inside George Michael's moustache meant before, and I've managed to forget it. That's what happens when you don't drill enough. Um, Tehika nine Dayone. So he's probably saying this old man here is not going to catch a cold. Uh, un th oh, I think that's something about strange. It's oh, I think he's saying that he never catches a cold. Strange, is it not? A healthy man on top of a strong man. You might just be one for the party here. Irishamase Kaimono. Hi, Marvin. Am I going to buy anything? Um, I need to do something with crystals, probably. Dono Crystal. Yeah, I think that's the exchange that we saw before. Yeah, but what kind of crystal do I have? They're blue, so they're probably all watery, aren't they? Shikari Mizu no Crystal no Kakera. Oh, five of them. So, yes, five ice crystals, yes, good, got them, indeed. Um, did you do it? Oh, well, now he's going on about something else. Uh, Marvin, my Nichi Tanoshin de Ro. Are you having fun every day, Marvin? Uh, yes, jings. I mean, I'm an optimistic guy, but to say you have fun every day... I had a day that I didn't have fun in a few years ago. That's that's very bold of them. 
Yes, Coco de... Okay, life here is very fun. Ho, ho, ho! Sore wa ii koto dare. Yes, that's very good, isn't it? Jibun ga myself tanoshi mitte ru nara. Myself, fun, something or other. Um, dare ga o tanoshi maseru something mora ru te koto da yo. Oh, maybe he doesn't mean himself when he says Jibun. He might just mean one's self. One should have fun and other people fun also. Uh, maybe he's just saying spread that good joy. Anyway, did I did I do what I was meant to do? Do I now have a big crystal? I do have a big crystal. Look at that. I've got myself the the water crystal. It's worth money, but I better not sell it. What I should probably do is investigate a bit more about what I'm actually meant to do with it. Wait, what do you want me to do? Oh, whatever you want me to do, you're giving me 7,500 for it. Um, Livia wants me to seed circle. Oh, she wants me to use the seed circle, which I forgot completely about, so I'm glad we reviewed that. You know what they say, Jake. Ugh. No, we don't know what they say. Right. Hyperactivity says that seeing Jake stumble around with this is very relatable as I try to learn my yong. But why would you learn my yong? Okay, let's give this another reread. What does he exactly want us to do? The farm dragon... Oh, he wants me to give the farm dragon a crystal, I think. Farm dragon... Ni crystal o age... Te mio. And my reward is going to be a Subaya Kuno beer? He's going to give me beer. Good. Goodness, this is rough. Thank goodness for me that this is the kind of game that you could do one action per day and still manage to beat the game no problem. It would just take a very long time. There's no penalty for going slowly. Going fast only means that you will get the power to do other things even faster. I believe the inspiration between the whole Harvest Moon series was uh, seeing all these violent and conflict-heavy games, and the creator just wanted to make something where uh, people could not do that too. But that might be a whole lot of hokey. Okay, this could be a problem, because although I have the crystal, I don't actually know how to apply the crystal to... Um, to the dragon. I mean, what do you want me to do? Just drop it here? Because I don't think that's going to work. Do we run slower with something held like that? Feels like we do. I'll check the quest just to see if I didn't complete it simply by making the crystal. Oh, well, we didn't just complete it like that. Don't apply crystals to dragons you just met, but I must. Anything here about the crystals? specifically about the field. What do I want to know about the field? There's a lot of stuff here, but none of it's about crystals. Oh boy, I don't know. If I look at the crystal itself, this is the kind of thing that's going to stumble me very heavily in this game. A new mechanic that I don't know how to do, because a lot of things I infer from my knowledge of Rune Factory 4, but when they bring in something new like this, um, I'm going to have a hard time understanding exactly what I have to do. All it's telling us here is that it's a blue-colored crystal. A blue-colored crystal which is big. And if I use it as a tool, it's going to enhance my magical attack by five. But what do I do with it? How do I apply crystal to dragon? 
Also, let's check how we're doing on friendliness levels. Oh, wow, Yuki loves us. How nice. Oh, Cribbins, I hope... She's probably not one of the people we have to raise ourselves to one with, though. But I need to find Julian and make him happier as well. Okay, let's shelve the crystal idea, because I don't know how to apply that right now. One thing I really do want, though, are more seeds. Oh, and it would also help if I knew where Julian was. Where you hide now, to Julian? I forget who Julian's even related to. Oh, that's right, he's the crazy doctor's um, kidnapped child. Being kept in the attic. Pulling a reverse fritzel on him. Meridian saying good morning all. It's not morning, Keel. Ah, right. I love that you can hear the rain even when you're indoors. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Gotten doing we labor for you, eh? Okay. Here you go, kiddo. Here's some grass that I tore out of my field. Domo arigato. He seems kind of happy for getting some crap like that. We'll talk to him as well. Uh, Hayaku, hurry. Ame uh, ga yamanai kana. The rain isn't going to let up. I think. Hurry, ame ga. Hurry, the rain. Yamanai kana. I'm assuming that's something to do with stopping. So, hurry up. The rain ain't stopping anytime soon. Ira shaimase kyo wa nani osuru. Hello, what are you doing to- Whoa, the kid runs the shop as well? This is exploitation to the highest degree. The doctor's really coming up in my list. I must commend you. How did you manage to pass the child labor law? You're also talking about the rain. Everybody's first thing is talking about the bleeding weather. Are you saying anything interesting about it? Uh, Amika... Hmm. I don't really know what that comes together to mean. Actually, I don't really know what anything you're saying at the start there means. Kyo wa no. Okay, medical thingamajiggers. Well, it's not medical, it's more like uh, the drugs. Drug kind of things. I don't know. She's talking about the weather and the drugs. Fair enough. Um, no, it would be an insult to your child labor laws to deal with you for medicine. Oh, was that enough to make the kid like me more? He's the one that told me to get friendly with everyone, and he's the one resisting my friendship the hardest. But there we go, we just barely got him to level 1, so that should finish off his crummy quest, unless he wants Misasagi to also be level 1. But in Rune Factory, they tend to just mean the base villagers, not the ones that you later add in. So it wouldn't, in Rune Factory 4, ask you to befriend Raven, or Amber... Or, uh, Dillis. Not for the very start. So hopefully I can just take this quest and immediately be done with it. We've seen this before. He's just saying, make friends with everyone. And, oh god, it doesn't seem to immediately complete for me. So maybe I do need to befriend the, the twin-tailed lady. Well, that's a damn shame. I should have never rescued her. Where is she hiding out at? Hang on. Are you... No, you're brother and sister. So what's your relation with the... The, the, mm, the doctor lady? Alright, well, let's head over here regardless. You must learn from her so you can put that useless girl to work. Hopefully with a child labor exam. <laughs> Does New Game Plus increase the number of available spouse candidates from Rune Factory? It never has before, and I doubt it will now. There are six bachelorettes and six bachelors. Oh, you're not here? Where's, uh... Where's the lassie at? 
One of these offshoot rooms, perhaps? Mm, am I missing something here? Maybe this whole place goes higher up than I thought. Ah, hello, Hina. Uh, Ami no hi wa rainy days are kasaga oto surundayo hora kite mite kasa. And I only know this because we're talking about rain. I'm pretty sure a kasa is an umbrella. Rosetta Stone taught me that. Unless I'm wrong, in which case it's clearly not taught me at all. Kasa ga oto surundayo? Oto surundayo? Ora, kite mite. You're indoors. You don't have or need an umbrella, Hina. Marvin kun, kino wa doko ma de it. Kitano. Yesterday, doko madei. Hmm. You must develop this down to at least large casa. Large casa is largely useless. Small casa is good. Small insulae is much better. She's asking, where did we go yesterday? What did we do yesterday? Doko made. Well, Doko is where, but Doko Made? I don't know. She's asking how things went yesterday, regardless. Uh, Kondo wa Hina Motsurete Tene. Sorry, Hina. I don't know what you're talking about. Is this the way to go and see, uh, see the lassie? Well, this has got to be the most useless looking area I've ever seen. Where is the twin-tailed lady then? Ah, right. Missed this. Jings, this place is like a TARDIS. Alright. Konnichiwa. Yo, yeah, well, I've already spoken to you. I don't want to hear what you're saying again. I'm here to give you a gift. Um, hopefully you like weeds like everybody else does. Uh, Koreo Watashini, this is for me? Why, thank you very much. Marvin Kun wa nomu no wa ski deska? Do you like to drink? I do not like where this is going, Misasagi. Um... Something Shimone san Tachi to Ishonino. Okay, she's, she is proposing that we get together and drink with the other never evers. Oh, this leads down somewhere. Can I leave from here as well? What is the point of this? She's still not wearing pants. <laughs> Is that so? Oh, it's interesting how you're slower traveling up the way. What's the pants situation here? Maybe it's just really warm around here, so she doesn't mind, uh... Oh, yeah, well, think about how big and furry she is as well. She probably doesn't like wearing lots of clothes. Then again, the man of the house down here... He wears some big, heavy-looking, uh... Big, heavy-looking clothes. Out. He must be scorching under that. He's covered in fur as well. And he's wearing armor? For one arm? Who are you, Oren? Try not to think about it too much. She likes drinking, just like the fox lady from Kamidori. Let's try not to remember too much about the fox lady of Kamidori. Uh, right, one thing I absolutely want to do is purchase more seeds so that I can fill up my farm. The more you plant, the more everything you get, so it's generally always good to be farming. ABF, always be farming. I don't like having multiple fields that are disconnected, though. I hope that the one main field we get can really 
uh, grow. Oh my, look, it's uh, Randolph. Randolph is saying something. Is he talking about something that's tall or something that's expensive? Um, well, something watery is tall or expensive. And the ingredients... Ah, oh, Christ, there's a thing, the thing that happened with pickled here, but I doubt he's talking about pickling anything here. Sorry, Randolph, I can't translate your moon runes from the from the first line. It's killing me. Nanode kyo no pan wa bright days a little bit. Not quite. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Nanode kyo no pan. So today's bread is a bright day a little bit different okay so because of the rain or some fallout from the high rain today's bread is tasting a little oh that's right it's taste or flavor or something to that effect the bread tastes a little bit different than usual because of the rain clearly loves what he does this randolph <laughs> Randolph the Grey. Right, this village. This village in spring is something... Or, no, that's not spring at all. Oh, it's the same thing that everybody always bloody says to me. Are you used to living in this town? If you have any problems, come and speak to me, please. Well, I look forward to the day that they have something different to say. God, there are months and months of different dialogue for people in Rune Factory 5. I hope that's going to be the case here, because so far... Everybody's saying the same thing. Ah, uh, konnichiwa. Hello. Rainy day. Yes, it is a rainy day. Something about stopping and mood? Mm, maybe that isn't stop. Maybe that's foot. Because it's using the same thing again with foot there. Something about his feet on a day like today. Maybe he's got swamp foot. Right, yeah. Eat a sh... <laughs> Quite the opener for that. Let's buy some stuff. Yeah, I'd be unenthusiastic if this is all you had to sell as well. Honestly, I don't want to buy more cat, uh, more turnip seeds because they don't sell for jack. I don't really want to buy more potato seeds because potatoes take forever to sell. And I'd be spending a lot of money on them. Then again, it's a bit of a slow burn, so it's not the worst thing in the world. I just can't be ringed using my sky dragon thing. Let's try and think how many plots I have on my field right now. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24? I'll go with 24. And let's bring it back down to 20 in case I manage to find some other seeds. Sorry, Congo what? I missed that. What's that? You bought enough? Yes, yes, I have bought enough. Away you get from me, Terry. Oh, but Terry, um, here's a, here's a beautiful flower that I found in my field. Oh, Jings! See, the the other NPCs will move around even if I'm locked in conversation, and I like that. I like that a lot. There's something very natural about uh, the citizens moving around on their own accord. In a game like Harvest Moon Back to Nature, everything was really rigid. Karen will be in the same place every day, except for the exception days, where she will also be in predefined locations. And that doesn't just go for Karen, but when I think of Rune uh, Harvest Moon Back to Nature, Karen comes to mind. The alcoholic who is the most expensive girl to woo. Unless you cheap out and give her uh, the moon flowers. Time does not pass during conversations. Also, I should be taking advantage of the rain, because the rain's going to water my field for me, and it's a good opportunity to find out exactly how the watering mechanic works. If this were Harvest Moon, it would instantly water my entire field, but it's not Shroom Factory. It's not guaranteed to work that way. Hmm, I had more open plots than I thought. Oh, 
What was that? Koyatetto. He's probably saying these out of seeds or something to that effect. And there. Lovely. Still space to expand, but a healthy looking farm nonetheless. You're literally pushing weed on the whole village. Weeds, uh, plural. Okay, if anybody has any bright ideas on how I can apply my uh, my crystal to the dragon, I'd love to know about it. Ooh, monster. Monster something. Monster what, though? What would Luca want me to do? At this point, he's probably wanting me to befriend a monster, but I don't think that means monster befriending. It looks like some kind of building work for a monster, so I can only assume that he wants to build a monster barn, which is a typical thing to get at this point. So let's go and do that. Maybe we can finally have a quest that we can do, because I've been struggling with these lately. Oh man, Bane, it's all going to his head. He's telling me to get good. Well, on Monday we shall see who is the one who has gotten good. We'll see you crack under pressure. Okay, let's assume that this is Monster Barn. Monster Barn... Wa. Monster... Oh, okay. Monsters have a place to live inside the Monster Barn. And again, I'm going to have to assume that means bar, uh, barn. Because it's small and something that looks like a shelter. Uh, the barn can be built... Monsters are going to go and be put in it. Probably not exactly what he's saying there, but we'll go with the gist of it for now. Uh, the barn is Uchi no... Oh, and that's his, his uh, workshoppy place. So, come to my workshop and I'll build you the barn. That's probably what he's saying there. Um, da 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 da. Oreka Parmosan. Guy. Iru Tokini. Yeah, come talk to me or the De Saint Coquille Freak Show and we'll get you a. Oh no! On the farm dragon! Ah! Okay, well, looks like the hut is going to be built on the farm dragon. That's a bit of a shame for me. This time. The important materials of rock and wood. Yarukara? But wood and rock are always important for building things. Is he saying... He says this time, so maybe it's not going to be a... <gasps> maybe it's not going to be a problem this time. I might have to just abandon the farm on the ground and only farm on the dragon's back because it's, um... I don't like having multiple farms, is the thing. I don't mind one farm with a lot of off-branching mini-farms, like what you had in four, but uh, you often have, like, the spring farm and the summer farm, where it's perpetually a certain... Uh, a certain time of year, which is good for certain crops, and yeah, very great for power gaming, but a hassle to go between. No, we're not dealing with you. We are not at all dealing with you. Luca! Luca, you seem like the only sane person around here. And even you spend half your time asleep. Okay, uh... Ame no hi wa yasumi nishite mo ii to... He's probably saying, isn't it alright to just take a nap during uh, rainy day like today? He's not talking about nap though, I think he's more specifically meaning a day off. Because there was another term he used for it, it was like afternoon sleep. Which I think means nap and not afternoon sleep. Uh, isn't the dragon farm a connected farm that's just up and set of sideways? I mean, there's a loading zone between them. That's already a pain right there. But it might be that the dragon farm's going to follow us around. Like, maybe it'll be available in other places, which will make it a useful farm. Uh, okay. Get the yawning out of the way and listen to what he's saying. Um, tomorrow is... Parmosan's Tanjobi Nandaka. It's his birthday tomorrow. Not Luca's, but uh, Parmosan's. 
Meshi, 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 ne something or other. Supa, Supai, Supas, Spice. Okay. Um, what are you talking about? He's talking about putting spices into something. And kare curry, curry. I think that's powder. Curry powder, uh, chocolate, and that's replacing. He's going to replace curry powder with chocolate, and put spice into something. Is he just playing a prank for somebody's birthday? That's not very nice. Oh, dochi ga bibiru to omau. Which one is more? BB, do you think? Or which one is BB? Well, you've let me down earlier today, but let's try you out once more, Oxford Japanese mini dictionary. What is a BB? Uh, sota chi na wa. Give me the he's. No, not the haze, the he's. And then give me the bees. Mm. Feels weird handling a book, I do it so infrequently. I'm not seeing anything under BB, but that's probably because I'm on the wrong page here. BB! BB is a fracture. BB is also a day. No, that's Hebe. What about BB? It's got nothing for BB. Hmm. Oh, it's BB Roo. Well, they don't have Bibiru either. They've got Hebe for days, they've got Hebe for cracks and fractures, they've got Hebe Key for sounds, Hebe Coos for echoes, and Hehe Yours for a critical commentary or review. But they don't have a BB. So if even the Oxford Japanese mini dictionary doesn't know what a BB is, too bad for us. Apparently it means surprising. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Shoving spices in his face or replacing his curry powder with chocolate powder, which is more surprising? Uh, nan no iaga rase desga. Ira. Ira is to be annoyed. So we're saying, what has annoyed you? And the conversation ends there. I really like that conversation. It was largely meaningless and made no sense. But what I liked about it is it sounds exactly like how a conversation would go in Rune Factory 4 in the English version. So that's telling me that the translation is probably largely coinciding with what's being said in Japanese, because they're both stupid and meaningless. Huh. Choto something or other. Deki ta mite dana. I'm a little bit something with something else. Well, good for you, Luca. Uh, wooden materials ga doritara. Kichi kichi razu ni tsayo. What? Parmosan ga yaterunda. Hazure. Hazure wa ne karana. No, Lucas, I've no clue. The real question is, why are you not selling me anything? You still... Oh, 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 what's this? Uh, sonna hi wa ice cream demo tabetaku naranai ka. Would you like to consume ice cream today? So dane? Or something mono no ga ina? Ooh, no, I know that kanji. That's uh, spice. Spicy things. Spicy things are more my thing. Or, yeah. Well, I would like an ice cream. Give me the ice cream. So, done. Though, eating those things will... be good for you in some way, but what way exactly, I don't know. Oh, Wakaten Janaka Yappa. Hmm. I think this guy really likes his candy. I was hoping he would share that candy with me. 
But no, right, sadly I'm gonna have to deal with the devil here. Parmosan, I need my monster barn so I can get some monsters, please. Konnichiwa, it's a rainy day. Yes, of course it- Oh wait, he's, he's actually calling it rain. Rain wa kimochimo, or a ame wa kimochimo, ame rain ki ki kishi kishi. What's the reading for flavor? I feel like it's she, but it might not be. In any case, it's it feels like rain, and it is rain. Look. The descent coquilles never make any sense. I am probably harming my Japanese by trying to understand what he's saying. Just give me the thing, whatever it was that I came here for. Um, yeah, furniture buying. No, this probably isn't what I'm looking for. Not furniture, but specifically a monster barn. But none of these look like monster barn to me. What about this? Oh, here we go! The Monster Barn, Type A. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And yes, it... Ah, the cost isn't... Right, so there's no cost, except for the points, and it still costs... It. Maybe he meant that you need... Oh, shut up, Parmo, just... I will pay you 100 points to piss off. Okay, uh, cool. Probably not what he's saying, but he's saying cool. Cool de kakoi. Well, kakoi means cool. A cool monster hut name giveth. Okay. Uh, well, I'm not calling it kaboo watsits. Uh, all right, chat. We need a kakoi name for this uh, this monster barn. Yeah, you got five seconds to come up with one, otherwise I'm naming it. Well, once I figure out the controls here. There we go. Alright, got it sussed out. Calling it Rita. No, we're not going to call it Rita, but close enough. We're going to call it... Oh, I like that. We're calling it Serbia. It's going to be even less fun than the name implies for our monsters. Um, uh, what is, what is that, like, upper, upper something or other? Hmm, a hut's name will be Serbia, very good. <laughs> Lewd Cord is eight characters, I believe this game only gives six. Alright, let's go and admire our new hut. And I might even start planting on that, um, on the back of that dragon. Uh, but I don't want to. I want more seeds available. And our seed collection is severely limited right now. That's bee hut sorted. It'll be Bosnia, of course. That's good. Uh, that's very good. Okay, let's go and admire our thing. Also, ooh! That is expensive on the RP, but that's our... what was it called again? The Seed Circle? Impressive looking barn, which sucks me in with a loading zone. The loading on this game is something else. <laughs> it looks so impoverished! <laughs> We've made a good choice. All right, welcome to Bosnia. Uh, welcome to Serbia, and it's going to be joined by Bosnia. I can't wait. Hmm, I could clear this place, but I should probably go and get myself a monster to enslave. And I'm probably going to bring my weeds, uh, my weed, not the weed holder, but the grass holder back up there. Christ, Japan, learn to code. <laughs> yeah, this game has so much loading. Conversely, Rune Factory 4 has no loading. You can just blink and you will be in the next location. Now that's probably the advantage of having completely 2D environments. Well, good for that. Why move to 3D? 
if you're going to make it this painful. It did come to think of it, Tides of Destiny didn't have this painful uh, loading for everything. It had loading, but to call it painful would be hyperbole. But what did I just do there? Oh, it doesn't matter. Down you go. Can I grab some weeds here while I'm at it? Give me the weeds. Give me the chocolate. Time in this game passes rather slowly, but at the same time it can feel pretty fast. I've already done my chores for the day, so I don't feel bad about doing this. What I do feel bad about is not going and grabbing some... Um, gotta remember to do this with the D-pad. Mm, let's clear it up with the axe. In evening time, I'll head out to the dungeon and start uh, looking for an animal to get. I'll get myself a woolly, just one, so that I have access to, uh, to wool. Rune Factory 4 had a limit of 9 items that you could just leave lying around before they started to fade away, and I'm curious to see if that limit is still here, because, you know, they don't like changing anything in this. Oh, but he automatically picks these things up. Alright, let's see if this works then. We're looking to see if any of the lumber that I've chopped starts fading away. It is. Ah, you... Rotter. Figured they could have done something about that by now, but done they have not. Almost every foray into 64, uh, into 3D has had issues. Mario 64 had one issue. The camera was ass. I challenge you to come up with any other issue for Mario 64. The game was fantastic. The game still is fantastic. The way he says Yata is just... It's that boy ain't right material here. Okay, once I'm done with all the stuff on my... Uh, my farm in the bottom, which unfortunately I planted a load of tatties on, so it's going to be busy for a while. I'm going to move all my farming up here. I don't see a reason not to. Even though very not very long ago I was saying, oh, I don't want to use this farm at all. It seems like the right place for it. So, let's deposit all the weed. And now, great, there's 14 grass in there acting as fertilizer. Deposit all the wood and stone. Oh, doing pretty good on that. And is there anything worth selling on my hands right now? Got to turn some profit around here. I have already shipped just about everything I've got on me. That I'm interested in selling at least. Alright, fair enough. And I'm keeping my food on me for uh, for my room points. Okay, we did it. And Luca, who refused to help me not to deal with Paramosan, seems very nonchalant about the whole thing, but I'm quite liking this Luca character. Also helps that his name is Luca. Starts making me think about uh, Italian city-states. So, the barn has been constructed. I wish I knew the readings for this, because I just do not. Uh, Yaru Jan. Yaru Jan. Uh, probably just means you have done it. Well done. Tsuede ni Koremo Yaru Yo. Something else also? Also what? Korewa Burash. Oh, so he's going to do something else for us, and it's giving us a brush. This is a brush, da. Koitsu o something or other, everyday monsters, nade. Nade, I'm pretty sure, means to brush. It's another automatic piat word, but they're not saying it in katakana. Uh, brush your monsters every day, it'll be good. Oh, okay, well, that was brief, but informative. The brush is ours. There we go. 
Now... Oh, what? Can I not just brush the air? Aww... Oh, there we go. Oh, no, that's not it! That's the brush attack! Wait, why is he squatting now? Look, I, I know... I know we said we'd name a place Serbia, but we're not turning into Slavs here. Actually, I think he's stuck. Put that away. Stop being stuck. There we go. <laughs> oh, Tarther. Right, what's he saying? Uh, item... Okay, what do you want? What item does he want? Uh, orange juice. He wants me to give him orange juice. Well, I don't have access to oranges, and I don't have a mixer. So you're not getting your orange juice. Okay, what can we do? Let's go and grab ourselves a monster. There were sheep out here. I forget what they're called. Woolies? Woolies sounds about right. Let's get ourselves a woolly. Ah, see? There it is. First things first, let's put our gloves on. And cease. There be- Oh, oh Christ, I killed it! I didn't mean to! What'd you do that for? Oh, I didn't mean to! Why'd you shoot him in the face? And you're not a freaking sheep thing? How'd you go? Dang. Where can I find some sheep? Boy, that frame rate. Right, these squirrels gave us a bit of jip before, and now I am the jip giver. Oh, that's right. Helps to lock onto things. <laughs> we put on gloves just to kick things in the face. Wow, you dropped a stick. You dropped another stick. Lucky us. Yata! Yosh! Omizu dayo! Alright, there we go. Two woolies. We can't mess up. Alright, so I'm probably gonna want to brush you. And that's going to make you nice and happy. We are actually just saying Yosh Yosh. It's trying to punch us, but its pathetic limbs are not doing anything for us. Now, you will be mine! Oh, we missed. Somehow. Hmm. Yeah! Oh, and just like that, it has become our mindless slave. Uh, I think this means to return, but I could be wrong. Uh, probably not return in the way that I want to. I don't know about that. It might be let, uh, setting it free. It'll probably give us a confirmation about that. Oh god, no! Uh, is it still ours? No! We got rid of it for good. That's bad. That's very bad. And I just beat up the gate that gives us more. It means to set free. I can't believe it had no confirmation. Oh well. Let's get ourselves another. So I wonder if they've completely given away the idea of giving these things food. I don't mind them trying to hurt me because they can't. Let's try, actually. Let's try and give you um, a, a herby thing. You want it? It's yours, my friend! Oh, maybe... Maybe... Right, so maybe there's different things. Maybe you still make them your friends by giving them crap. Ah! 
Right, it's different then. So if you grab them with your seed circle, you simply enslave them whilst you're out in the wild. But if you give them gifts, they'll be your friend, I think. Hmm, you can also do it while charmed with the seed circle. Ooh, that could be handy. That could be very handy. Right, how many characters do we have to play with again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, eight. Oh, I was wrong then. We have eight instead of six. So, lewd cord woodwork. But we're not going to have that. I'm actually going to start using the list of people that have submitted their names for uh, characters in our games. Although they probably wanted to be, like, characters in State of Decay 2 or generals and strategy games, but no, they're going to be my new slave sheep. So let's get Lee Merker in here. There we go. Why is it complaining about it being 8 out of 8? Okay. Trivance, that was loud. Lee Merker de Yoroshi de... Yoroshi Deska? Probably means is it alright. Yeah, of course it's alright. Hmm. I'm gonna save my space for getting useful animals like, um. Oh, well, speaking of useful, go and beat the crap out of your mate there. The Merker appears to be dying. Let me soften it up for you. Good job. You did great. Ah, now I should have other options for you. Uh, Choto Tsukarete Ru Mitai. I think they look a little bit tired. Now I have actual options for- I can ride you! <laughs> Good thing we're such a manlet that we can ride a sheep. Okay, that was fun. I, I swear I become smaller when I do that. Uh, right, return to the barn. I'll deal with you later. Actually, before that, let me give you an actual present. Here's some healing things. Oh, and it actually did heal. Lovely. That's horrifying. <laughs> uh, what are these other options, though? Uh, this is to ride, because I know that kanji for riding. You'd usually use it for riding the bus, but instead we're riding this thing. Return to the barn. Choto... Choto what? I... I don't know. I just don't know. It's keep away, says IFT. Oh, so I can tell them to keep some distance. Okay. Um, this, I think, is don't move a muscle. And this is Nikuname? Nickname! Change nickname. Or nothing. Right, well, you're going back to the barn. I wonder what the significance of getting a pink woolly was, though. Actually, I don't have a set of clippers, and I want to clip the wool off of that thing. So I'm probably going to have to beat up a whole lot of them to get more of those. What am I doing walking like a pleb? I can teleporto. Um, oh, hey, there's my sky dragon. Can we go up there? Female woolly? Yeah, but what's the significance of that? I do not know. Can they breed? Uh, Harvest Moon has animal breeding, but I don't think Rune Factory ever has. Privence with a room like this, who would want to breed? Well, I guess there'd be nothing else to do. Uh, let's keep that and hold still. I'm gonna brush the living daylights out of you. <laughs> the English looks so out of place with all the Japanese script. The Merkawa Genki Dane. They don't look so Tsukare anymore. Alright. You brush them once a day, it makes them happier, and now we can check the Merka in our. Monster entry! They've got level 1 happiness with us. Oh man, that is cute. It looks so happy. Unfortunately, it is weak as sin. So we are only going to... Wait, wait, wait. What's that symbol there? Are there 
Are there monsters that can carry multiple people? That would be pretty cool. Ooh. When a mummy woolly and a daddy woolly love each other very much, says Restapani. No, no, in Harvest Moon what you did was you got a miracle potion that you sprinkled over animals which would make them pregnant. That is where babies come from. Oh shoot, I better not press that accidentally. It costs a lot of RP. Imagine signing up for Jake's State of Decay campaign only to end up as a woolly in a room so empty that there's nothing to do but breed. <laughs> I'm sure that's what they're imagining right now, Alpha. Holy moly, these loading times are preposterous. Alright, the day is still early, the rune points are still high. Is anybody gonna... Hey, there we go. Ugh, I knew it was gonna be you before you even appeared. Because the first thing on the line here was... Mm -hmm. Anybody... Has she got green tips on the end of her hair as well? God, I've seldom seen a face so punchable in a game. Aside from that guy that got punched a lot in that uh, Frostpunk run we had. Uh, I think that was 100% run. Good times. Mmu, chanto tsukai te iru yo de nani yori da. Chanto tsukai te, it seems that you're using something good. Probably saying that it seems you're getting to, getting to grips with that. The seed circle wa tastokini mo i Taga. The seed circle watas watas toki. Sorry, kiddo. I don't know what that means at all. Yeah, that was the seed circle quest on because I managed to use it correctly and then accidentally threw the woolly away. But we got another one. So to the connector. Connector. Uh, connect monster one. Right, I can only have one monster connected with the seed circle ability. Korekara, that is why the Pachimenba? Party... Party member. The party members ni akiga Demo connecto dekiru no wa ich tai made da kara wasure runayo? Don't forget you can only connect with one. Hmm, what? That's because, or due to that, party members ni akiga. I would kill you to use some kanji here, kiddo. Hmm. Don't know. She's probably indicating that we have some kind of a limit. Whoa, oh, ho, 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 my! Well, there might be some redeeming features to the dragon girl here. After all, she forks over seven and a half grand for being able to use an ability that she gave to us as well. Hmm. Hmm. The spunky girl with spats and frankles only gave us 300 gold. No, I'm not giving you your orange juice. Uh, right. Well, we are pretty spunky ourselves right now, and all the tasks at hand are done. So, I feel like diving a little deeper into danger. Danger by design. No, nobody wants to dive into that. Right, 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 right. Oh, we still haven't figured out how to apply the crystal to the dragon. IFT clerk, you, I think, are a bit further on than this in the game. How do I rub this water crystal on the dragon? Which is what I think um, 
Heinz was telling me to do. Right, what, what are you after me? Oh, you want me to harvest a potato, which I'm getting on, but Heinz here wants me to farm dragon Kuristar o Agete Mio. I'm pretty sure he wants me to give a crystal to the farm dragon. But how? You talk to him at the head of the island. Oh, I thought I'd explored everything up here, but evidently not. Thanks, IFT. I would have been lost on that for a long time. Ah. Maybe you can explain what the heck's all this about? Yeah. Okay. The, uh... The earth... Oh, right. Hmm. Ah, I can choose what to give him, I guess? I suppose. Anyway, water crystal I have one of. She baraku no... Wait. If I give him this... She baraku no something or other the skies will rain I don't want it to rain but that's really cool you can affect the weather by giving the dragon these crystals the weather is one thing that you don't tend to have a lot of control over in the games but the idea that you can have resources to pull something out for that is really damn cool it's a little wasted to do it now but it is our goal right now and here it is right now in plain English, Kristar o Ageru, give it the crystal. That's ice, by the way. Water has one stroke less. What? My god, you're right. I didn't even notice that. So it is an ice crystal. Well, hang on, does that mean there's a... Soil crystal, fire crystal, ice crystal... Uh, wind crystal, that was it. It was wind. I mean, the symbol is nothing like wind, but there you go. And then that's earth crystal. But I don't necessarily have to give you this crystal. Uh, but it's the only one I've got, isn't it? Okay, here's the ice crystal. I thought Aquaticus controlled the weather. Well, they're the four native dragons. Aquaticus, um, fire, thingamajigger... Terrible and Ventuswill. And they've all been beaten up by teenagers. So maybe it's now time for new dragon. Come to think of it, there was a dragon that was uh that died and reborn in Tides of Destiny, wasn't there? I remember the horrific broken English translation in that game, Would You Me My Dragon Sometime? Coming out of that uh wet blanket of a shopkeeper. It was bad. Okay, well, let's go exploring a bit more and beat up some other uh, other monsters. You'd think they could put some sort of elemental icon instead of the same line of text with one character swapped. Which mean using actual icons instead of just text? Max, you speak some real nonsense sometimes. Like when you said that uh, Hades was going to be a five-hour challenge. Easy peasy, right? It's kind of nice how your speed changes depending on if you're going up inclines or down declines. You know, especially having this right after Sekiro, this just... This ain't, this ain't that right. I wouldn't say that Rune Factory 4 had the deepest and most amazing combat. The amazing stuff was in the crafting and that, but it was never painful. And this is kind of painful. In fact, it's more painful than doing it in uh, Rune Factory Tides of Destiny. And Tides of Destiny is bad. Talking about speed while the combat is this choppy. <laughs> and it sure is choppy. Ooh, treasure. Now, I don't want to test if I can beat up 
uh, treasure chests by hitting them. I'm sure that'll happen accidentally in due time. What did I even pick up there? Well, we've already... No, it's not yet shipped. Um, and it's not really much of anything. It's a uh, Yamame o... No, o Sashimi? Well, it's Sashimi. Don't know what kind. It does look good, though. Something this game does have going for it is some actual high-quality icons. Rune Factory 4 Special was kind of insulting with how bad its icons were. They just blew up the originals and applied a filter onto them. And it was grim. How in God's name do I pick up my enemies? Normally it's just strike once and then press A to pick them up, but... Oh, there we go! Yeah! Oh, okay. We're advancing now. Fists are slower in this game, but dual blades are now faster. Fist got more grabs as well. Good, I like getting grabby in this game. Now, are there other grab attacks that one can do? Oh, jeez! You shot me in the bollocks, Tim. Hmm. Well, you veer off the beaten track too hard, you get kicked in the gonads right there. Ah, uh, right. Yato me. Okay, you awake now? Really? Um. Some kind of rocky flower. Ikarate. Mm, I don't know what she's saying, but she's doubtlessly scolding us right now. Hit point ga naku naruto. Running out of hit points, you will collapse and end up here. Okay. Uh, something something... And something some more. Baka ni naranai yo. Whatever she's talking about isn't idiotic. What was that again? Like water on a counter with some... No, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Ma watashi wa kimi o ijikuri this time. What did you do to us? Nandaro. Hmm. We're not feeling quite right in some way. I think she did something horrible to us. Well, whatever, as long as we get our hit points back. Ato, hit points more, something, dakiro. Hit points are big, big something. Rune points are also... James, my, my cat. My language is collapsing already and we're not three hours in. Jake, she had a little fun putting your nuts back together again. <laughs> all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Marvin's nuts together again here. When your rune points... Something, something, rune points, hit points, uh, Don. Oh, right, she's probably saying if you're out of rune points, your hit points are going to go down as well. So, datan desne, is that so? Yes, that is so. Okay, you're just expl uh, explaining basic things. I know that rune points go down the way they do, but this isn't going to change the fact that I got kicked in the balls by some kind of orky thing. Every day, the getting into the bathtub every day, kitchen to, all right, eat well, sleep well, go to the bath, and then you'll probably have a long and prosperous life. Yes, yes, and I will something. Umu, okay, great. All right, I keep missing on that one, but yes, that's wa, as in understand. Wakare ba yoroshi. Please tell me you're not charging me. I just got a fat stack of money. R P W G. Toshiteru to skoshizu. You get a little bit back just from something. If she's talking about a little bit of R P, we probably get it from just standing around. 
Oh, amazing. She didn't take our hard-earned money. But I kind of want to go back out into the into the wilds, though. Google isn't turning anything up. Anything significant in the patch notes that might Jake, make Jake want to run the update? What update? Alright, well, let's chow down and head back out there. I know it's very risky to go and fight uh, such dangerous beings, but no risk, no reward. This, I, I, what? Can't just fire that up right now. Well, I suppose I could, but I'm not going to. You know, I want to spend that money first, Jake. Going to the hospital is only free the first time. That's all right. I'm sure we'll be okay. Oh, what's here? It's my very own clump of fur. Well, how about that? And my own stick. Got to keep that stick and fur economy going. Ah, treasure. Ooh. Woody things. What are you? Toy herb seeds times four. I'll be taking that. You're so, so slidey in this game. It's just unreal. Any significance to this thing, though? I don't know. How about this? We've got some signposts that's trying to tell us something. Uh, Takenoko... Takenoko wa... Oh, it's impossible to take these things out by hand, so they must be talking about bamboo shoots. Uh, yeah, okay, great. Use sickle or hoe, and you will grab these things. Neither of which I have equipped right now, so let's grab our hoe. Hi ho, hi ho. It's grabbing Takenoko as we go. Takenoko? Is that really what they call bamboo? Looks like a bunch of bug fixes, no mention of performance update. They wouldn't have a performance update out this soon after release. That kind of stuff's going to take weeks. With the Japanese developers, this stuff's going to take months. This stuff's not going to happen. <laughs> Let's go with that. A lot of stuff hanging around here. I should be wary of things around here. I'll be wary of them if I can't really hurt them. That's So if I strike them and I do like no damage, then I should hightail it. But if I strike them and do actual damage, then it's probably not worth worrying about. For any more? Oh, that's it. Take is bamboo. The ko is like child. So take no ko is a bamboo shoot. Well, I'd get that if the ko used the kanji for child, but since it doesn't, I just didn't can. Okay, let's err on the side of caution here. Go in for a strike. We do actual damage, so I don't need to worry about what they're going to do to me. They should worry about what I'm doing to them. Ooh, you dropped some kind of bottle of something. It was uh, one of those. What was it? What is it? Uh, really, what was it? It's uh, one of these. Do not know. But I've not shipped it before and I'll change that, and it's not very expensive. Just looks like some kind of strength and defense enhancing drug. I guess so. It's sticky liquid. Oh, maybe it's an ingredient rather than something I can just drink. Steal all the grass.
least Kamidori tackled the whole idea of how we are just expunging all the resources from the ground. Expunging? I guess we'd be sponging it up. Right, these things are puny normally. Let's put that to the test. I don't want to get shot in the nuts by them. Oh boy, get away! Ooh, okay. Th those guys... Those guys hit a bit hard. One way to try out drink the strange liquid. It doesn't appear to be on my list of edibles here. Well, actually, it's not a list of edibles, is it? Can I actually drink you? I can't. Okay, so it is just a raw material. I feel so immobile here because you can't jump. It just feels so strange because it kind of feels like Tides of Destiny. But somehow even clunkier. And Tides of Destiny came out a, a decade ago? It was a PS3 title and a Wii title. Oh, what do we have here? My, oh, actual magic swell. That's getting assigned. There we go. And we have a different uh, pouch for magical things. It's not going to interfere with picking up regular stuff. We've gotten ourselves dark power. Yeah. Great. Now I can be the projectile man. I can also save. Let's not accidentally load here. If it looks like I'm being a bit idiotic with the menus, it's because I'm using the analog for it and it's not good for that. But my thumb does not naturally know to slide down onto a D-pad. The, the Switch Pro controller is still a little novel to me. What's going on here? I don't know. I just hope I don't get kicked in the balls. Ooh. More food. This is a dangerous place to be. I should really cut my losses here. And they're not even losses, I'm winning. Looks like a free-to-play Memorpaga from t uh, 2010. Well, it's not doing the world's highest amount of damage ever. But I'm a little scared of getting close to these guys, because they'll probably kick my ass. But, what is fear? <laughs> That's fear. That is a lot of fear. Goodbye. Oh, sticky liquid. Ah. Well, good times. Back home we go to enjoy another good bit of loading. Ah. Well, that was only a little rough, but got ourselves some magic, got ourselves some goodies, and all right, I should di uh, ditch equipment too. No, I should ditch equipment after I sell anything I haven't sold before. I am also going to need to worry about producing grass to feed our creature. I believe you can feed up to four creatures one bit of grass per day, which means... It's far more efficient to have multiples of four creatures, but that's me just taking it off of Rune Hick. Rune Factory 4. Sell the spinach. Eh, bamboo shoots are actually worth decent money, so I will be selling those as well. You've not been sold. Apparently I've not sold a toy herb seed before. Hmm. I'll hold on to them for now. Uh, I seriously haven't sold one of my potions? Madness. Sell one of our weird uh, clumps of fur and that horn and some sticky liquid. Now we're talking 645 for some salmon onigiri. The, the buffs that give look really nice, but the money it gives looks even nicer. This is something I'd like to try someday. In fact, I might put this on one of my things to cook sometime. It, it looks nice and simple, but I'm sure there's some finesse to it. Uh, as I understand it, that's a deep-fried rice ball. 
Hmm, I haven't sold purple grass yet. Purple grass. Well, we learned valuable lessons here today. Get better at combat. Put away a whole bunch of things. There's loads of space inside our backpack, but I should look into more making to see if there are other advancements that I can have. Because I'd love to have an even bigger backpack. Actually, I can check out with uh, Elise to see if I can get more right now. There's no reason this runs so poorly when Monster Hunter Rise runs fine on the Switch. It's poor optimization, most likely. I can't imagine that's going to be changed, though. Wasn't this a top seller in Japan? Okay, what are you going to do today? Asks Eliza. I want to do a making. Um, this is creating a new festival, which I don't really want to do. This, I think, is cancelling an existing festival. This is to open up a uh, something. Ryuku o okikushiteri dekuru yo koko kara... Ooh. It's definitely me. Oh, wait, no, it's my rucksack, isn't it? Raku. Or Ryuku. Ryuku? Yeah, let's get ourselves some Ryuku. Maybe it's not specifically the rucksack. Maybe. Oh, yeah, it's rucksack and other things. What can we expand? And I have lots of points, and I always want a bigger rucksack. So, gimme, gimme, gimme. Yosh. Iku yo. Making. A <laughs> stupid name. Okay, great. My rucksack is even bigger. Kore de ipai mono. Okay, I think this is as big as it's going to get. Is that what she's saying? Ipai mono ga. Maybe she just means more. Like, you can carry. Yeah, you can carry more stuff. Because it's a symbol of movement with the car on it. So it means to carry. But. I don't see another option to enlarge my rucksack, so maybe that is as big as it gets. Uh, this looks to be the box that I could make bigger, or the 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 um. Uh, let's increase the storage box. It's nice and cheap. Making the All right. Kore de soko soko hairu yoni nata wane. So more produce and wait, what? No, no. I I can put more things into it except for cooking ingredients and harvested produce. Yeah, that seems about right. I don't want to burn all my points here. Is there anything else that I can pass while I'm here? How about we kill that... Uh, okay, it cost me a thousand to get rid of a uh, festival. Dang. But sometimes you want to do that later on because they interrupt days. Okay, this is looking expensive. Uh, if I want to have a... What kind of festival is that? What is that again? It's like standing worms below a mouth in a line. Maki, big meeting thing. Uh, I do not know. Oh, beans. Maybe it's a bean throwing festival. I like the bean throwing festival. I need to save up a thousand points for that and quickly. Actually, tomorrow I need to make the points for that. Sitsubun, basically. Gotcha. Hold on. It's way past your bedtime, kiddo. Why are you not? Oh, she is. Okay. Can we talk to her while she's sleeping? The chief's bed. Why is she talking in her sleep? 
All right, let's just back away here. Also, what kind of impoverished bedroom setup is that? It's just a bed here with some kind of folding screen there. Also, what's your story? So it's just more of the seed people. I, I still don't understand this. What are they meant to be helping me with if I tell them to assist me? Hmm... I don't know. Maybe I should look that up later. Because I asked them to help me before and they just went, yep, and then nothing happened. It flew over my head. Chief of Poverty. <laughs> okay, now that is a good, healthy amount of space in there. And it's still not enough. I'm going to need more later on. If you get low hit point while out, they heal you. Oh, so what's the downside? They heal you when you're dying. Are they just going to appear there and help me out? That'd be nice. I'd like to start bringing other townsfolk with me on my adventures, but uh, it seems that I need to befriend them quite a bit more. In Rune Factory 4, Forte would always help you out because she was the, the knight of the village, but I don't know if there's a similar person in town who will always help you no matter what. What up, chief? Ah, Marvin! Omae ni te o kitai koto ga atanda. What are you talking about being big? Mm, maybe you don't mean big. Oki would have another O in it. Well, she wants something with us. What do you want? Hmm? What is it? Nan de shoka? Uh, uh, pardon me? Is this a deck builder game? Um, monsters, surukoto da. Mm, what? There's that thing used in pickling again. So do they want me to go and pickle some monsters? I can get on that. Soeba. Uh, of course. Choto. Oh, I heard. I heard something about that a little before. Did we? Because I don't remember any of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is this all about? Um, I don't know. I can't ascertain what that's meant to mean. It does look a bit like a bounty system, Metro, uh, Metrona J. But I sincerely doubt that that kanji together means bounty hunting monsters. Monster Hunter Rise, you say? Um... Okay, well, you want me to go and hunt specific monsters. Or maybe you want me to capture them. Nah, it's probably hunt them. Uh, it, sarete iru, iru monsta tachi no koto da. Ko itsura wa ju yo na. My god, kid, use some kanji here. Spare me. I don't know it all, but she's telling me. Here are the Pokeballs, go and catch them all. Yes, only you have what it takes to become the Pokemon Master. Very good. Uh, more... Connecto? More connecting here. Hmm... Monsta o firdo we de mika ke tara connecto shte Watashi ni ho kokushite kure. Ah. It's Shime Tehai being on the wanted list. Oh, well, bounty hunting, sure, but what exactly does she want me to do with them? Kill them? Capture them? Befriend them? She seems quite disheartened about it all, whatever it is. Uh. Tohae Yatsura Mo Sokantani Hatsuka. I hate talking to this child. Why did I do this? Okay, I, I, I don't know. I'm sure we'll figure it out what we're meant to be doing with them. Nanda Yes, it looks like a big problem for us. Ma Soyona. Yeah, that's, that is how it is. Yatsura wo. Tsuka Mairuto Slow down here, kiddo. 
Oh, my seed rank. I have a rank of seed? Okay, cool. First I've heard of that too, Marvin. I have a seed rank. I guess I started as apprentice and she said I stopped having to be the apprentice. Seed ni okeru kai kyo no koto da rank ga agaruto tsumari erakunaru? I, I don't know. She's talking about me getting more ranks. What do I get from the rank though? Eraknaru to iro iro dekiru kotna. So you can do various kinds of things with your new rank. What kind of things? Sorete. Sorete something or other is so gashikuna. Why is every time I talk to this child the most painful thing? Maybe because she's explaining things that are new to me in Rune Factory rather than things I already know about, so I actually have to pay attention rather than extrapolate here. And attention is something I hate to pay. Back when I played Killing Floor, there was a good phrase. Who pays? Ha-ira. Erakunaru toyu no hasoiyu koto da. I don't know, she's just laughing at me. We should glass her. Sono kini natara dono monsta o so saku. So so saku? So saku? So saku shitini ku ka watashini oshiete. Oh man, you're gonna, you're gonna teach me more? No, don't bother. I'm done talking to you. Let's get out of here. Yeah, Zabiak, just go away, kid. I'm done. Oh, but I probably should have asked, where do I even find this bounty? What is all this about? Stamp Risto. Stamp List. Hajimeten. Okay, so this is my first time doing things. First time I fished. First time I something the monster. Hajimete monster or what did I do to it though? God only wants to know, and we have not yet figured out what these other. St oh, there's a lot of stamps to get here. Ah, this is like the trophy system that they had in Rune Factory. Four, which was kind of cool. Mm hmm. Now what's this? My seed marks. Mm hmm. Connect is the in-game term for capture. Holding ZL for a period of time to use connect. Connect used on holding monsters. Contemporary capture them. Uh. Let them help you fight. A single press will hold to get a random drop from the monsters you used it on. Ooh, random drop sounds good, given that getting drops in this game can be really painful. But I'm more curious about what the bounties we're looking for are. Bit sad that Jake doesn't know the kanji for befriend in it. In it quite. Ohio, mmm, yoi tenki. Is it a good day? I haven't been outside yet, so I wouldn't know. Uh, omae wa something or other, shigoto, oh you're asking me about work, you're asking me, not about farm work though, another kind of work. Hmm, I wouldn't know. Mari something or other, de wa nai, kamo, soka, sore de wa ippai, ippai, there's that kanji again with the, the heart and the eye and the standing. God knows. Give me that bounty list. Mm, just the same thing again. The badge system. Apparently one of the badges allows you to drag people outside without your full consent. Perfect. Need to find out how to get myself that. Alright. 
I don't, I don't have to water anything up top just yet. Ooh, what do we have here? We've got our Kabacha, which I think are the pumpkins. Ooh, a Rooney. Thanks. What you made better for me, I do not know. These things regrow, so I'm actually just going to harvest them and hope that I get a seed. I didn't there, but maybe someday I will. Okay, why? Why? Throwing things into the storage box or the shipping box is one of the great fun things, and you've taken it away from me, game. I know it can be done, but the idea that things just keep flying over it is a bit of a pain in the rear end. It's a winter squash similar to a pumpkin. Hmm. I do like gourds. One of those I didn't I didn't quite capture. One of them's grow up big and strong. One of them is here's some this is it. Umaku Iku. Hmm. Don't know what it means. Maybe it'll show up again and I can see it. Omisudo. Yeah, there we go. Umaku Iku to Ikedo. What does it mean, though? I don't know. Watering has got to be one of my least favorite things in this game right now. Your character just locks on to a square and just. Look at look at the way he moves around. Oh, well, he's not doing it now, is he? Of course not, probably because it's already watered. But the way he was just drifting around with it was just... It wasn't right. It's just not right. It would be good if it goes well. Oh. Well, I'm sure the subtleties of what that mean is lost in translation. Alright, give me that. Now, the problem is, I could probably get more off of you with some clippers, but I don't have clippers. I do, however, have all the weeds you could ever want. Here you go, Merker. And it doesn't stop there. I'm gonna give you the brushing of a lifetime. If you could stand still for five seconds. The Merker is Genki, and there we go. Give you a brush. There we go, they're almost level 2 liking us now. I think it becomes harder to get uh, to higher levels, but it just takes longer. The more they like you, the better quality of the stuff that they drop. So what level was this? It's level 2, because they have uh, level 1 liking of us. And that's going to make it worth more, but it's a bit worthless because it's uh, it's just regular wool. Huate, so I'm guessing that's just wool. I'm not guessing, it's more of an educated guess. But it's only small wool, if I want the big stuff I need to level it up. And now if it's anything like four, your barnyard animals are going to level up with you. Slightly slower than you do I think, but they will still get, uh, they'll get levels. And that's really very handy. His yatang is nay good. Now I want a lot of points today. I am sorely tempted to ship all these rocks just to get my points up, but I'm going to avoid it. If I can't do Setsuban, then too bad. There are other ways to get points, I'm sure. Killing things give points, now that I think about it. We'll have a festival dedicated to all the creatures that I've killed. That sounds good. ka -ching. Okay, it shows me the money, but not the points. Where do I see my points at? 798 points. That's not good enough. I need more. I don't actually think that killing is an efficient way to get it, but I don't... Oh, Christ. I don't have a great way of doing it. Why do I keep pressing Y? What does Y do that... Uh... Maybe I should just take that off of why it keeps catching me out, and I don't need to do that attack, ever. Off you trot. Maybe there was something I did in Rune Factory 4 that was uh, 
on Y. No, I'm pretty sure Y on Factory 4 was also just to use your magic. So, where do I find this bounty on creatures? Because I wouldn't mind going around and grabbing them if there's goods to get for it. Maybe it's on the board. It would make sense to put a bounty on a board. Okay, let's also put the hammer away lest I crush my crops once more. Oh, what did I do? Oh, of course I, I went and gave the dragon the, the watery, crystally thing. Ah ha ha! Oji san! Ah, honto no koto ga! I always forget that reading. Old man here always knew that I was gonna do this, probably. Hmm, what's that second part all about? Something dragon no koto wa. Mm. Mm. Mm, he's saying something about that dragon, but what exactly he's saying, I'm not sure. Also, who's that running behind me there? Sono Kawari Crystals. He's talking about our crystals again. The crystal de Nanikatara. Ucheo hi kinishte hoshi na yoroshkune. I'm a little lost on what Heinz is getting out of all of this. And there's Gao Gao in the background there. It all seems like Long Con. He wants me to go and deal with his crystal shop so that he. Uh... Yeah, that's right. The first try is free with him. My shop, something or other. Sorry, sorry, Heinz, this has flown right over my head. Subayaku no beer. No beer. Scaring off the Germans here. No beer. I'm gonna have to see what this is. Well, it could be a beer. What does that look like to you? Subayaku no beer. I, I actually don't know what that is. A no... Nobiru could actually be novel. Noburu. Novel. Novel. I doubt that it's an actual bottle of beer. What do we have at the bottom here? Um, Earth something or other quicker oh Crivens it's a um, it's a formulade it's gonna make plants grow faster mm-hmm which means it's something that we can equip and I could pour it on individual plants to make them grow faster there's a slight problem with that I don't really have the scaling to make that a good idea right now. So, I'm just going to sell it. How much does it sell for? 240? Sounds good to me. I'll sell one. I'll keep one. Just in case there's something that I really need to grow quickly. Like a potato, because I'm still stuck in the potato quest. Where are my potatoes at? No, no, you're my potatoes, right? Jaga Emos, 82% done. They'll be done in a day or two. So I guess it's not a big hurry. And I don't like to make my farm anything short of homogenous. So I'll let them off the hook with that one. Okay, what else do we have here? Ah, you want me to capture something from the um, from the bounty board. Very well, Livia. We'll make it happen. Doda, sora sora seed no shigoto ni mo narete ki tan janai ka. All sorts of seed work. Are you getting used to it? 
Or are we going to get used to it? I'm not sure if she's asking me or if she's telling me. Uh, Daga, you done what this freaking girl. Okay, Daga, you done what Kinmotsu da zo soda. What? <laughs> what are you talking about, Livia? I don't know. I'm back, Jake. What did I miss about bounty? I've not learned anything, but we have found a quest on the board here about doing the bounty work. Um, Kyo hiki shimeru tame ni mo omae ni shigoto o yaro nmu. I don't know. You're talking about me doing my work, but in what context? I just don't know. The only time you use kanji is when you're just regurgitating it like this, and I don't appreciate that. Right, the bounty list mon sutautsuka mai te koi. Oh, right, you're saying monster, but you're doing it in hiragana now. Freaking Japanese language. Bring back the trains. <laughs> it's still a few hours before I can just slide into train autism until till then I have to deal with little girl dragon autism. Ite okuga kore wa or ha huh? no wa sho cho me re da kara na ite okuga so telling you this because of something because of why because of why I don't know Kyo hiken wa nashi das oh my days. I don't know. I do not know what that's it? I don't know what to do, Livia. I do not understand you. Your ancient dragon tongue goes over my head. Uh what does Mutton want? Mutton wants a Kabig No, Kaze Kaze Oh he want he also wants cold medicine. Everybody wants cold medicine, but I can't produce it, nor can I buy it. Okay. Where or what is the bounty list? Someone must know. You get the bounties from her. Oh, no. Alright, well, we need to speak to our beloved here for a bit. Lucy, put my mind at rest here. Mmm, yes. Kimachioi. Yes, it's a lovely feeling warm day today. Because I didn't feed the dragon an ice crystal to pour water down on us all. Uh, your farm work. Yes, my farm work here. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, you're... Mitai... Okay, it looks like you're getting used to the work you're doing. Didn't you say that before? I feel like there's a lot of repetition in the things they say. And I'm not just talking about the weather here. Um... Every day watering Choto Mendo Choto Mendo 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 Dakedo Uh Mendo I don't know what you mean by Choto Mendo Dakedo, but you are saying yes every day I'm watering the plants and the harvesting thing harvesting thing. Yeah, I'm doing the harvesting thing. Great. Thank you, Lucy, for your enriching conversation. I will award you one weed. Is this all right? Thank you. Yes, you're very welcome. Maybe I should up my budget for what I'm buying Lucy here. How much does she like us, though? Maybe she'll go on a date with us. Oh, maybe she will. Right. Let's try our luck, lads. Let's put on our dating gloves. <sighs> oh, you are? No, we're talking to her, saying something here. Nani, koso, koso shiteru no. What are you doing, Lucy? Wahia, bi 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 um, 
something. You're doing something with uh, Puri's letter. Mendo is a bother. Okay. People have told me that at least twice before, but boy, is it hard to remember all these things. Incredibly hard. Jongers says that knowing Chinese is interesting here. Only able to read the kanji. Yes, yeah, so talking to the little dragon girl must be a nightmare for you too. Uh, here we go. Oh, exchange diary. I know that word. We did an exchange diary with Dolce in Rune Factory 4. The best girl. Well, there is Chlorica. Tough choices. But they're all just a splash in the ocean compared to Marion in Rune Factory 3. Exchange diary mitaini. So what, it, it, it looks like an exchange diary? Oh, you want the exchange diary? I don't know. Tegami... Exchanging letters is like an exchange diary. Or so they say. What? This interesting face? Oh, I apparently have some kind of interesting face. And she's saying... The inside of it I will not talk about... Piss off. Oh, jings. I'm liking the sharp tongue on you, Lucy. Can we go out on a date? Yeah, yeah, enough of that. Dating time. Ishani! Lucy, could you please go out with me? We're not asking her out on a date. We're just asking her to come with us. Yes! Oh, we are in there, chaps. Yosha! Dochiga! Something or other. Suruka... Um, and then something else. I actually don't know what she's saying, but she's coming with us! Party... Nitsuite. You gonna tell me about forming a party here? I need no such instructions. I know how to date a girl. Come on, let's start by talking to another girl. You there, little dragon girl. Tell me about the bounties. Kyowa na nikayoka. Yes, I'm here for the bounties. Here we go, bounty list. Explain. Right. Do its wo tsukamae ni ikunda. Uh, sure, whatever. Oh, she's probably saying, who would you like to go and kill? Some weird gobbo thing. Some fairy thing. Some kind of slimy elemental creature. Mystery meat. A lot of mystery meat out there. Let's keep it nice and simple and kill a uh, gobbo. Hopefully this isn't the goblin that killed us. The one that gives a swift kick to the gonards. No, that one had more of a, a pig nose to it. This is a more humanoid looking face. Jake, have you chosen a girl or a guy as your main date interest? Oh, we've got her in tow right now, Lucy. She seems to be the only one with a bit of spunk in this village. Um, yeah, this is a creature in the forest. Recipe bread times one will be the reward, which is a pathetic reward, but I'll take it anyway. Oh, please don't tell me I have to speak to you every time I want one of these. Can I get another one, you know, while I'm here? Uh, oh my, wa. Uh. Mm-hmm. Itan Akira. Okay, she's saying, you already got one. Do you want to exchange it for another? So it looks like we have to do the bounties one at a time. That's a bit of a damn shame. But we're going anyway, Luce. Time for our hot date. Oh, speaking of which, what does Lucy carry on her? She is level 1, 63 health. She carries a one-handed sword. I wonder if I could tool her up with something better. Eh, we'll we'll let her stick to what she has right now. You can give any any um, party member any weapon that you so desire. I've already tended to my crops. I think I did. Yeah, I remember watering them. We tended to our animal as well. One advice: just try to stay alive. Oh, we should have uh, completed one of these things here, right? No, no we haven't. We need to go and do the bounty first. Now, here's the $64,000 question. Do we have to... 
kill it, capture it, or super capture it. It's probably about capturing with our, uh, with our ZL ability. Shouldn't have walked here, I could have warped. But I feel like this is still faster than the loading screens. When you found the monster, they glow red. Do you have to capture them with a seed circle? Killing them fails the quest. Is it a specific monster then? Ooh, don't know about that. Now, I actually want to go and beat these things up because in Rune Factory... Oh wow, they actually hurt you. In Rune Factory, those uh, muffalo thing... Not mufflos, uh, the woolies tend to drop clippers as a rare drop. I got one of my first try in Rune Factory 4. Not so sure I'm going to be so lucky here. But I must punch. Come on, Lucy. We get back into it. Right, the, these are not the, the monsters that I'm looking for. Oh, nice. Lucy got a, a level up there. You share experience. Actually, I'm not sure if you share or if it duplicates experience between party members. I've never put the time into checking it out, partially because it just shows an experience bar. It doesn't show experience numbers. It's actually kind of tricky to find um, in-depth numbers for this game, or for this series even. You would have thought with it being emulatable easily enough, people would put some effort into that. Why are people talking about RimWorld? RimWorld low-key and Jake's subcom, or maybe because I said Muffalo. You can just buy the clippers, and I have enough money to buy ten sets of clippers when you only need one, but that doesn't that doesn't matter. I don't want to buy them. Maybe I should have paid a bit more close attention to where exactly the um the monster is. It does show up here, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think so. It's in the forest, 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 forest. It's just using the word for woodland quite a lot there. Ooh, I wonder if I can throw this at enemies. Uncharged Seed Circle is a high chance of giving an item from their drop list and an elemental dragon crystal. Right, I gotta try that out then. Excellent. Death by box. These guys are wimps. Kind of nice how it locks them in place. I bet I could use that for taking out harder uh, enemies quite a bit. What's that bar filling up with Lucy? Is that her experience or is that just her getting knackered with me? Well, given that killing that thing level uh, brought it up a bit, I'm going to assume that it's experience. My god, it's about two seconds of just standing there to cast um, magic. It's really... It's really rigid. The whole game is uh, quite horribly rigid, frankly. Dosh? Dunno. It's fine. Just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, Fist is the ultimate magic here. Still, it's just nice to go out on a date with Lucy here. The AIs don't generally do anything for you other than help you fight, which is fine. They're not going to help you grab ore or items or anything like that. It's not at all like bringing, um, bringing people with you in State of Decay 2. Oh, nice. You're starting to one-shot creatures. Nice to have somebody around that appreciates the one-shot. Okay. 
That bar is not her experience. Maybe it's tiredness. Maybe when you bring people with you, they get knackered and uh, eventually they're like, yeah, enough of this, I'm heading home. Oh, these look more like the creatures I need to take out. Look, they got that horn on their face. Wow. Some power to that. It's a team attack gauge. We've got a team attack? Interesting. Good, I'm actually getting gemstones out of this. I need to figure out what Lucy likes. I wonder if the boss has come back. Wouldn't mind pounding into it a second time. Save and save often. The game has an autosave, so I don't really fear the game crashing on me. Not that it has shown any signs of that, but... Air on the side of caution here. All right, QB, I beat you before, I can beat you again. You know how she goes on about fishing all the time? Ah, so she'd surely like some sashimi. Eat the attack for me, Lucy. Tell me how strong it is. <laughs> You're doing great, Luce. Down it goes. No harm, no fuss. And what was that? We picked up some kind of mysterious bell. Well, it's worth decent money. So that's getting sold. Ah, boss drops. What a bane of Rune Factory. I swear that creature had more than one bell, though. It's good to know which characters, no healing magic. They're generally the best people to take out with you. Healing magic and people that give you food. Hmm? Were those ores there before? Right, what else can we do with you? No, don't get in the way when I'm trying to beat up Cobalts. I don't want to destroy that, though. I need it to spawn more. I'm assuming that it'll eventually spawn the monster I want to destroy. Or capture, rather. Oh, what's this? Uh, what is this? The f field... Oh, right, this is probably telling me about the... Um... The, the team attack here. Two people can do some kind of strong, super, mega attack. Okay, how do we do it, game? Character icon will be bright on the screen. The left hand, the upper left hand side of the screen, your partner will be glowing bright. And then with the R button and the L button. No, the L stick. What? R button, L stick button. Oh, crivens. Uh, push those two at the same time. And then you will... What? The R button, push... Up button, down button, what? What? 
Well, let's try it out, I guess. Well, that was dumb. Huh. Well, if, uh... If the glowing gobbo isn't gonna pop out, you deal with whatever scrubs come out and I shall grab the amethyst. It appears we get mashed up big time. Oh, is that the one that... That looks like a stronger one. Don't worry, I'll avenge you. I will super avenge you. Okay, that, that gobbo thing is not appearing. Get her. Oh, well, she's dead. Wait, she's up again? I don't get it. How you feeling? Doshano, uh, Hana Shikakeru. I could talk to her, or I could ask her if she's Daijobu. Daijobu, choto kitsui kana. She's feeling a little bit under the weather, but only a little bit. I'm sure she'll be fine. <laughs> the delay on that pop. Okay, so I'm having a hard time finding the uh, the gobbo that I'm after. I thought it might be in here, but I might be wrong. I am wrong, because this is the Sasayaki no Mori. What I perhaps need to do is... How do I, how do I zone out of my map here? Um... I think it's this forest that we need to find it in. What a date. She's passed out on the ground and Jake's like, ah, she's dead. Let's move on. She'll get better. Target monster spawn the first time. Great. That means we don't have to sit and grind out for time on them. Look, I'm not heartless. I'll give you... Uh, which of these heals health? I think this is the hit point. You know what? I'm going to give you my own cooking. Eh, she, really? She's going to react to another dish? That's cool. Anyway, Shkama Marvin Kun, you made this? Astonishing. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Did she just teleport by our side there? Where, oh where, are we gonna find that glowing red punk? You're doing fine. I mean, sure, we could beat up harmless, uh, harmless forest creatures if you like. The throw in Rune Factory is usually obscenely powerful. I don't know why, it's just so strong. And so very satisfying. Well, it isn't for, it's a little less satisfying here. Right, these are the guys that kicked me in the gonards before. Perhaps I should keep a distance on them. I thought that was a little heart next to uh, next to our date's face there, but no, it's an apple to indicate that she's enjoying the buff of something that she's eaten. Where is that... Oh, oh this is nice. Can I pick them up when they're stunned? No, I can't, but I can punch them. You're doing fine. We're all doing fine. Actually, we'll do a bit finer if they stop spawning here. Oh man, you can feel the frames. I can feel myself getting kicked in here. <laughs> Just abandon our date. 
she, oh, well, she comes on back. Oh, these look like more of those rapscallions, but we'll leave them be. Where in God's name is that thing I'm trying to track down, though? Well, let's eat on it. Holy moly, all right, everything around here is packing a bit of a wallop. I'm just gonna grab this chest and skedaddle. Is that even a chest? It had a, a single, uh, single one of those in it. Okay, clearly, this ain't happening for us. Let's head back to here. Getting emasculated is probably a bad impression on the first date. It's all right, she's unconscious for moments that we are the ones getting emasculated. I would really, really like to get some clippers, though. So, how, how does it work with getting items in it? Do I just capture and smack them? Uh... Oh, oh, I got some! Excellent! Very excellent. Now I don't have to pay through the nose for them. Where are they? Here it is. Clippers, 1900 gold. They sell for 520 as well. I wouldn't mind a second pair of clippers. Aw, oh, you're, you're killing my, uh, my profit here, Lucy. Just hit them with the circle without charging. You have a chance to get an item. Okay. So could I just spam hit them constantly with uh, with that? Lucy, you're getting in the way of my profits. I want you to go home. It's nothing. Stay here. One chance per monster only. All right, well. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, uh, I think this is it. Yosh, Jane, off you trot. Jings. She's going to transform into a magical girl there. Get the crap out of woolies until they give me what I want, which is another set of clippers. They already gave me one, but one isn't enough. I need more. I need two so that I can put it on my sold list. But I am wondering where is the um, where is the mystery creature? I don't think I followed the, the southern road at all, have I? I'll give it a quick go. And perhaps I should chug something first. I feel like they had a great opportunity to improve the UX in this game and they completely let that pass them by. Handling everything in this game feels a lot clunkier than doing it in Rune Factor. Oh boy, this could be trouble. cock doodly doos I actually want some of these, but I don't know how tough they're going to be. Let's take a cheap shot at them. Okay, right, they're not tough at all. Uh, cockahohos. Well then, let's reduce them to just. Well, actually, I want a whole crop of them, but I think one will do for now. So, yeah, nice try. Bring your A game next time. Now, as for you, give you the old Yoshi Yoshi. Oh, I can't even move the camera here. Bit disappointing. Okay, it seems happy enough with that, and then let's give it some crap. Uh, better slow down there, my bricks are not crap. No, I, I want to hold all this stuff for myself. Where's my rubbish? Ah, here we go. This is the stuff I give villagers, so surely it'll be good enough for you. <laughs> oh, 
Why do I put it down? Oh, it can go up there and I cannot. That, that, ain't, that ain't fair. Uh, please, please get off of my my stack of weeds. I need those to, to make you like me. There we go. There's this really clunky, um, okay, there's a lot of things clunky in this game, but it's really clunky, uh, the downtime between giving them items to make them love me. There we go. Big success. We got ourselves, uh, well, Cuckoo is its name here, but I'm not going with Cuckoo. You know, I'm gonna give it the honorary name IFT. Can we fit in Clerk as well? I think we can. This is what you were looking for when you signed up for the naming list, right? Uh. There we go. IFT clock. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's so good. Nicely saved. Oh, I even did a little teleportation. Here, you can have another bit of weed for, uh, for joining me. And... Give you the old Yoshi Yosh. And you know what? Come with me for a bit. I haven't explored down here. For all we know, the uh, the big bad cobalt thing is down here. Oh, cows! I want cows! Well, I want a cow. Well, I want four cows. Four candles. Let's start by beating them up to assert dominance. Yeah, how about that? Charge attack learnt. Yeah, I think I get it. Glove attack, hold B button. Is it still a rolling attack, I wonder? Because that always really sucked. It's not? Ooh. Some actual good punching. Just as God intended. And they're dropping me a mini milk. That's nice. Come with me. <laughs> God, it's so slow and kind of lacking in the oomph that you otherwise get. Uh, are you the last one? Yeah, okay, well. Come with me. To a world. Of pure imagination. Right, uh, IFT clock, you're gonna have to head back. Uh, uh, Ah, yes. Return home to the barn. Alright. Let's go for it. Please don't hurt me. You, you guys probably hit pretty hard. Now, I would love to have numbers on, uh, on the befriending of animals, but I don't think anyone's put the effort in to find it out. I don't want to stand in front of it in case it just headbutts me. It looks like a docile creature, though. This shouldn't be too hard. Oh, but don't take me towards other scary things. Look, I'll give you all the tree branches you could ever want. Wow, it only wanted one. Actually, it probably just didn't want to get the rest of them. What's its name? Mo Mo. No, not on my watch, it's not. Uh, trying to think of many people that have uh, short enough names for this one. I call you Pandy. Alright, welcome aboard, Pandy. Now you, I almost certainly can ride. Oh, but before I do, I'm going to give you another item. Hell, you like the sticks so much. Take another one. And, uh, let's give you a bit of Yoshi Yoshi. And let's get riding. Amazing. You can also attack with it. 
Oh, and accidentally get off of it. And it's all the same attack? Hmm, that's a shame. Oh, you seem happy enough with the arrangement. Yeah, rigid is the word. Oh, hornets! I like hornets. They tend to produce, um, honey. And I like honey. But where is the beast that I'm trying to kill? Holy macrimony, this animation is dire! Tokyo drifting on this cow. Well, I've got three out of four animals tamed thus far. I did 35 damage out of God knows how much you have. Oh, well, you're, you're killing Panda here. I'll let you be. Oh, hang on. Is that an apple tree? It looked like an apple tree. Let me try my luck. Give me the apple. Yeah, there we go. Could make some apple juice out of that. Okay, our poor thing got paralyzed, and I still haven't found the, the monster that I'm meant to be hunting down here. It's really uncanny the way that the monster teleports towards you. Wonder where it is. Wonder why I'm having such a hard time finding it. Right, we can expect to find it in the Horesu, Horesu Mori Maybe there's some part of that that I'm not picking up on that tells me exactly where it is. The Horesu Forest and somewhere inside it, but where? Forest of Forest. Well, this is the Forest Forest. Maybe it's all the Forest Forest. Maybe it's like down here. You know what? Let's take a, a quick ride down there to check. Are you still going to be slow if I ride on you? Terrifyingly slow. Let's just take a gander, check the perimeter. If I still can't find it, I'm just heading back home. The monster is supposed to be south of the deadly forest you ran away from. The deadly forest? I mean, I run away from a lot of things, but... The deadly forest. Are any of you them? No, they've all got regular faces. Oh, what was that noise? Okay, that's my cue to call. I'm out of here. Nice knowing you, but let's head home. wonder if your warp can be interrupted by being attacked. Jake, do you want to tell me the item for the first boss? Oh, I'd love to know the uh, boss items, because I don't think there's any way to know it unless you look it up. Which is a royal pain. All right, time for you to return back as well. <laughs> there are some really painful aspects to this game. I didn't get my points, did I? I wanted to get a thousand points for the... Oh, I did get a thousand points! We're having a festival tomorrow! I don't know where I got those points from, but I did get them. The first boss's favorite item is that item that it drops, the bell. Now, does this game also feature the incredibly fun and exciting part of 
even bosses with their specific items will still be unhappy unless you give them dozens of them. Because if it does, you know... Oh, no, don't punch it. Crush it. The amount of times I had to save scum to get the bosses to like me in... Um, in Rune Factory 4 was anything but fun. I'll take your lack of answer as a yes, they need lots and lots of these uh, often rare items. I think level difference plays a part, but in Room Factory 4 it was just a chance of it, not guarantee one way or the other. Okay, Marvin, you did good work today. You did damn good work. Before we say hello to tomorrow, let's Meikingu Setsuban Matsuri. There's a secret technique to farm it infinitely. Use the uncharged seed circle once, teleport out, come back, do it again. Yeah, I don't think I'd have a problem doing that in 4, but in 5, the loading times in this game are just abhorrent. Alright. Well, Matsuri, let's have Setsuban. It is Setsuban. Or is it Setsuban Maki? Oh, well, whatever. We're having it. Making it the new power-crazy man in town has decided that tomorrow there'll be a festival. I know it's already 7 o'clock in the evening, but make your preparations. It starts at 10 tomorrow. Also, yes, they can still say no, and level, dif dis uh, dis level difference is also now a factor. I think it always was. It's called Mame Maki. I just related it to Setsuban. Oh, well... I'm still calling it Setsuban. Anything else that uh, Marvin needs to worry about for today, I wonder? You know, I've never really looked inside our clothes cubby here. Um, what is this? Who should I transform into? Oh, well, Marvin, of course. No. No, I don't think that was transform. I think that was maybe change. Uh, the usual, the something, the something else, the ah, uh, uh, different clothes, right? Let's try this out. Oh my, it's quite fetching actually. What else we got? Oh, it doesn't change our two D sprite. That's adding to the disappointments. <laughs> Uh, uh, what else do we have? Is this our lounge? No, this is our swimwear, is it not? Mmm... I don't think so. Marvin's got more ass than some of the girls in the game, though. You know what, I quite like that fetching one. Oh yeah, there are uh, body fur suits. Well, they were in Room Factory 4. I'm going to assume they're also here. All that storage, what could it be for? Alright, let's go and enjoy our festival. Remember, the festival's gonna have that horrible confetti effect all day. Um, shouldn't have to bother with anything with you. You can practically taste the jealousy from Rolling Ninja saying, take it for a Scott to like the outfit that looks like a dress. You wish you could look even half as good as a Scot looks in their garb.
There we go. With fists and watering can, there's no way I can accidentally cut my crops away. I hope something good happens? Is that really the translation there? I have little reason to doubt it, but it still seems daft. I only let my character sleep one minute a day. Yeah, that's that's the way to do it, but I'm not here to power game. Not even in the slightest. I'm going to save that for the localized release when I don't have to think very much. Waste of time watering crops that are already ready to be harvested. But I swear one of them was my beloved level five, uh, level 2 crop. But I think that's one of these ones in the bottom here. I should check with my magnifying glass. That's you. Yeah, you're my level 2 one. Swell. The rest of them can just pop on out. A potato! I'm finally harvesting potatoes, and I get some potato seed for it. What a happy, happy day for Marvin. A happy, profitable day. I was wondering if I would get used to the controls for dealing with my farm here, but it's not coming easy. Wow, it's very rare to get a rune out of grass. Grass is so common, cheap, and fast to regrow that it wouldn't make sense balance-wise for it to spit out runes often. And yet I got it. And some leveled up grass. Happy days for us. There's something else I should have done before harvesting. Take care of this. Also, looks like a dress, really? He's wearing trousers. Zubon. I think. Now I love Rune Factory, but the cracks on this game are really showing. And it runs very much in parallel to... Oh my god, the irony is actually... You can taste it. So, Harvest Moon. Uh, there was eventually a split where the Harvest Moon devs jetted, but the rights to Harvest Moon still stayed with... Uh, I think it was Natsume. So Natsume continued to make their garbage shovelware under the name Harvest Moon. And uh, it, it was awful. Really awful. And the actual devs from Harvest Moon went on to do Story of Seasons. Now Story of Seasons was actually pretty bad in my opinion as well, but that's neither here nor there. You've kind of got a similar thing happening here. Neverland, the original developers between, uh, behind Rune Factory, went bankrupt and now Marvelous own it. Marvelous was the um, was the publisher, so almost the same thing has happened, and now Marvelous is developing it. And I think they kept on a lot of the original devs, but I'm definitely seeing a lot of we don't really know what we're doing, so let's just try to copy what was done before kind of affair here. Don't get me wrong, I still like this game, but as Rune Factory games go, it's rough really damn rough. <sighs> How are we doing on food? Uh, oh, oh dear. We have one bit of grass in here. Let's dump the grass that we harvested in. So we've got six. Really? Six? I mean, I picked up five? Oh wait, no, I was reading the wrong thing. I think I had two in it, now I have six, but each day we require one bit of grass. The developer is Hakama. Really? I thought Marvelous had moved over to be the uh, developer. Well, perhaps I'm just plain wrong. Right, time for brushes, everybody. This is... This is considerably more cumbersome than it is in 2D. I think I got you there. Now, to make them really, really like you, 
generally the best thing to do is to give them the products that they are giving you. So, I would give the clump of fur to, uh, to you, because apparently they really like that. This is just something for Rune Factory 4, not something I inherently know about. Uh, five here. Cooked food is also good, but... Uh, Ooh, we've got some high-level milk here. You're not allowed the high-level stuff. I like that. And then as for you, did you give me an egg today? Don't tell me you don't give me eggs. I'll be very unhappy about that. Here we go. Oh my goodness. That doesn't look like a particularly healthy egg, does it? All right, well, tomatoes on the menu. Eat your own eggs. I know you usually say that going backwards is difficult in Rune Factory because of quality of life. Do you think it's the same here? Oh, no, God, no. Firing up Rune Factory 4 after this is going to be... like firing up Rune Factory 4 after playing Tides of Destiny. This game kind of feels like the one that is going backwards. Wait, what? How many... How many logs am I going to get out of that stick? I think the festival isn't properly starting until 10, so i got time to grab my raw materials and such. Technically, it's the same developers, since what happened is when Neverland went bankrupt, Marvelous took in most of the devs, like Hashimoto, the director, and later gave them their own studio. I see. Well, I don't know. This kind of feels to Rune Factory what uh, Harvest Moon became. Did I bring my fertilizer bin up here? I don't think I did. I think it's still down. Well, that's fine. I'll take the weeds there. I still think fertilizer is largely useless, but in the early game, I think it's worth using because you're not able to afford all the fertilizer to keep your uh, farm nice and healthy. Sometimes the whole picking up of items feels a little weird to me. It's like running over them will pick them up. Sometimes. But only sometimes. Where'd the confetti go? Well, I'm not in town anymore, so no more cheap confetti effect for us. And let's all be grateful. You should be grateful. It's weird seeing the journey of Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, seems to be a constant downwards trend in quality over time. My least favourite game was the old Harvest Moon game that tracked how much water and sun was given to crops, and if too much, they'd wither and die. I think they made a lot of changes for the sake of changes. I loved Back to Nature, and I liked DS, um, and I really couldn't get into anything other than that. Okay, I've got another reason not to like going for these festivals. This music is uh, a little awful. It's a little very awful. Oh my. I don't know. The, my feelings for this game are taking a fairly hefty downwards turn. I mean, it's still the same game, but it just feels like interacting with it has become so difficult in 3D. But that's weird, because it wasn't difficult to interact with the game in Tides of Destiny. Tides of Destiny was just bad. This, we've got a good core game, but it's just hard to play. Especially when compared to 4. 4 was just magnificent. Rune Factory 4 is right up there next to DDR as my favourite game of all time.
He had to constantly play the stupid memory game to pay the elf work for- Yeah, I wasn't big on buying out the harvest sprites. They are a royal pain. Oh yeah, that, that was a thing. I'd forgotten about that. A lot of DS games, for whatever reason, they just shoehorned in stylus mechanics. Now why, I just don't know. And I can only assume it was some kind of publisher decision. I'm not sure if Nintendo pushed that. I have no... I have no reason to believe that Nintendo did that. But it does smack of something that it would do. Nah, surely we would have heard of it by now if that was the case. Okay, uh, yes. Our beloved Lucy here acknowledges that we did, in fact, harvest a potato. I don't think we explicitly had to ship it. Harvesting it's just... Is that mutton in the background there? Go for it, mutton and, uh... Cecil. Right. Yapari kimi wa... Oh, I should know this one. Something with bamboo. Uh, kimi wa sugita kana. I think she's saying that it was simple for us to do. Ah, that's right. The shop is now selling more kinds of seeds. And this is why you got to do these quests. They gate a lot of the uh, the things that you can buy behind that. Now, in Rune Factory 4, you could get around that if you really sequence broke your way through the dungeons. And that was a lot of fun, but it still won't get you everything. Okay, this music is driving me bananas. Can we go and do the festival? Kantan. Simple. Even the word itself is simple. Let's put on our festival gloves. You're always just running around in the, in the center there, aren't you? Oh my, the mayor is in charge once more. I guess we could talk to everyone, but we could also not. We could just talk to muscles instead here. Uh, oh yes, yes, it is a bright and sunny day. Who would have thought? Yes, today is the Discount Setsuban Festival indeed. Today's festival looks like it's going to be fun, eh? Okay, well, nice to have such deep conversation with you there, muscle man. Konnichiwa. Yes, it's a bright day, I get it. Talk to me about the festival. Today is that festival that you hastily declared last night at 7pm. Oh yeah, you flatter me, Shimone. Choto haiga... Uh, what? Oh, right, it's a little early, but the the probably bean-throwing festival rules, would you like them explained to you? Uh, no, but who's favorite to win? Today, the favorite is the village's something or other. The what? The not yet here person, the 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 future. Oh well, if it's Cecil, it's probably like the future pain in everyone's arse, or the future detective. Cecil's favorite to win, right? So we're gonna have to clobber that kid. Get in the octagon. Right, today is it. We're going to get going. Kakugo, Kakugo, Kakugo Hajime. Hajime Sho- yes, yes, let's... I'm not actually sure what she's saying here. Uh, today is our beloved beanie festival thing. Beans... really... oh boy. I don't actually know. Wait, how do we even start it? No, I don't want you to explain the rules, I just want to get on with it. Do I have to bring you something? Surely not. Uh, what is she saying here? Feels like we should be able to start the festival, but we can't. That must be beans, right? So beans... I don't get it. You collected 5,000 different colored beans, right? No, no I didn't. It's a bit early, so it's not time. I thought it started at 10. 
My god, that performance is a bit... ...scary. Alright. How's it going, Lucy? Yes, I know the weather is nice. You better be taking this seriously now. Today is the old bean throwing festively thing. Kore wa something. Yobu yo. When are you going on a date with a dog girl? Well, the wonderful thing about Rune Factory games is you can court all the girls, but you just have to pick one in the end. And once you're married, you're out of the dating game. In fact, if you declare your love to somebody after you start, uh, after you marry somebody, your wife's gonna have a few unpleasant words with you. Ooh, more rocks. I don't think we need that right now, though. That's strange, though. Why is the festival not starting? Maybe give it till 12. But is there much for us to do until 12? Well, I've already got my hammer out, so let's go and grab those rocks. Aren't you lucky that the Switch Pro is coming out later this year? Maybe it'll run down. I'm not buying another version of the Switch. I know Nintendo love to do iterations of the same console, but I don't go for that. I had one NES, one SNES, one N64, one Nintendo DS, one 3DS, one Wii. I didn't even bother with the Wii U. And here I am on the Switch. Did I miss anything? I forgot to mention about that. If you date all six, there's an event where they'll get angry. And all six will break up with you, but only if you date all six. Yeah, but then I bet you can get back together with them. And then date all six again. Channel our inner Jean-Luc Picard. Oh, can we start now? You're talking about some other things. Um, I'm guessing this one is to get going. Okay, because she's saying the Bean Festival thing, something Suruka. So she's probably saying you're going to take part, and we say yes, we will take part. Yosh! Well, let's do it then. Uh, the participationists? Yeah, we had this before, I remember. The, the participants... something or other. Sore dewa bean throwing thing. Yeah, let's get it going. It's time to begin. Real sword means serious. She was asking if you were ready for a serious showdown. Oh, well, Cecil isn't even in the octagon, so... Is this actually an octagon? I think it's got a few more sides than that, but if it is, I'm going to be laughing. She's going to explain the rules again, even though we asked her not to, but maybe that's for the better, because I, I don't really... Oh, wait, no, this is the same festival that we had in Rune Factory 4. You have to be hit by the beans. Here we go. Marvin is... Um, I think that's demonic, is it not? Oh, that makes sense for Setsuban. I am going to be the Oni, and I need to be mashed by beans. But there are certain beans. Tell me more. Uh, oh god, not colors. Um, is that Midori? Midori, Kino, beans are worth points, and whatever color that is beans are going to get me Sarani points? Sarani? Is that down? Okay, well, not knowing the colors is going to hurt here. I think in the previous one, green was good, pink was good, and bad dishes were awful. Pinku! Pink beans. They are... Well, she's not actually explaining what she's saying. Yet It'll be fun to hit yourself. Okay, let's just get hit by all the beans then. Um, what else are you talking about here? Something else kinds of beans. Don, don, point, whatever. Get hit by beans. Acquire points. Alright, I've heard it all. Let's get on with it. Oh, this is going to feel bad in 3D. It already feels bad. Oh man, I am feeling the input lag on this for the first time. 
Now, generally in the bean throwing competition, you will win if you just don't ever get hit by the uh, the by the messed up dish, because the big points are made by getting um, constant. Uh, the beans, the beans, they climb up in points if you get them one after the other. Like a chain combo. And breaking the combo, that's what's going to kill your points. That's more important than just getting tons of them. Ooh, almost, almost ate that. Give points. Do not give bad dishes. There we go. That should be pretty good. 10,996. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's just like Reset here. All these people that are told to squeeze every penny out in Reset here are completely wrong. It is all about the combo. Until you've leveled everybody up, then it's all about squeezing every penny out. Uh, this town has given us a festival. Okay. Yeah, Hari, something, something, ki much. Okay, we're all getting a good feeling from everybody's participation in the town festival. How good a feeling. Next up, Cecil with 30,000. <laughs> I hope not. That was a pretty solid performance. Now, with third place with 20,000 points. Uh, what was that? Oh, Crivens, there's that thing again. I still think it looks like fruit, but what is it? Hmm, well, I don't know, but whatever it is, we're getting it. Sore de wa... Um, something or other. Let's hear it. Cecil's this game's version of Doug. I don't think it's fair to have that much contempt towards a child. They haven't had enough time. Eh, they haven't had enough time in this world to be as insufferable as Doug. Okay, third place, the dog, with seven thousand points. Oh, that's quite intimidating. Then again, it would be like fetch for Gao Gao here. Their their creepy grin on the podium. It's it's harrowing, is what it is. Ga uh, no, Fuka Gao Gao Gagao, Fuka Gambate, Gohobi, Gohobi? I don't know what a Gohobi is, but she's saying Fuka gave it her all. Second place. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Terry. That makes you the first loser. Terry got uh, got that many points. Good for him. Sore narini honkimo dashtandane. Honky. I think honky is seriously. So you seriously gave it your all. It literally means to bear fruit. Oh, thanks. That's going to make it really un uh, easy to understand. So um, right. His results bore fruit. Ah, clever. Because it's string and earth over mouth. Not even going to get started on the mnemonic there. Anyway, good job, Terry. You gave it your all, and the results show. Well, we brought everything, but it just wasn't quite enough, because this time's winner is me. Why did they mention Cecil as being the top, uh, the top dog? He didn't even come top three. And last time it was meant to be to uh, Puri who was top dog, and she also didn't come top three in the cooking festival. It was Randolph the Grey. There we go, demolishing the competition, much like the Mario Marathon, stands me. Although we also have a creepy look on our face. Yata! And I think the next part is victory. I don't recognize it, but it feels like it would be victory. Uh, totemo ureshi des. I am really ureshi. Oh, I thought ureshi was like a relief, but maybe it's just happy. I'm super happy I win. That's right. Bow down. Everybody gather round, clap, and say omedito. You you show you show. I could remember that for winner because you show them all. Excellent. <laughs> okay, yeah, thanks, Mutton. I feel good about that. Told everyone at 7 p.m. the night before that there'd be a festival, so no one could prepare just to win in a landslide. That'll make your friends in this town. 
Sorry, the game's imitating my life here. Uh, right, what's what's going on here? Yokugan batte namina. Uh, oh, this is the same as she said before. Don't forget to return home carrying your prizes. And my prize better be the biggest stack of recipe bread in town. Well, it's some really cheap pickles. It's yep. some boots. It's a pill. A really big pill. Hmm, is she going to tell us that's a suppository? And... Yeah! Eat bread, establish dominance. Oh, I can't because I don't have enough cooking level. Well, store it for later. Let's Bow it. down, folks. I am your master. Hoo -hoo, yo, I know it's a nice day. Stop talking about the weather. Okay. <laughs> that's why you got a pill and a boot. Kentucky, that's really funny. Marvin San, you are the winner. Omedito gozaimas. Totemo something or other. Ite mashtayo. I was. Oh, well, that's bright in it. Bright and a car. What would be a bright car? Dazzling. We were completely dazzling. And that's right. You know, for acknowledging how amazing we are, I will give you a. Uh. Oh, you'll probably like some... Oh, I'm not giving you level 10 grass. No, that's the good stuff. Take this crummy stuff instead. Yeah, and again, she's saying, Do you like to drink? Come drinking with me and the mayor doctor at some point. Everybody's gathered in the same place, so it's actually a good opportunity to give out presents that are cheap and crap and that we dug up in our yard. There's doubtlessly going to be a quest that says I have to make everybody like me, uh to five or ten, so might as well get on it early on. I'm not really caring what they're all saying. They're all giving me a very neutral, oh, for me, thank you. But I sincerely doubt many or any of them get really excited about uh, about this gift. I don't want to give them my good grass. Level ten blue grass doesn't grow on trees. Let's sort, let's sort this out. You can have the level seven stuff, Grandolph. Yes, yes, it's for you. Enjoy. When are they ever going to start giving me some return gifts? Here, kids. I'm sure you're stupid enough to think that it's a flower. Wow, arigato. So happy to get some grass that I could just pick up outside their homes. Ima kara ippai soto de asobuzo. Huh? Ima Kara Is he saying his body is full? Full of what? Full of something to play at least. Is he gonna take my stupid gift or not? I don't wanna talk to you, just take my stupid gift. There we go. Yeah, for some reason I couldn't give him the gift and it just took me into a conversation instead. Cecil, you're a bloody loser. It takes some blue grass just like everybody else. Mutton, you're kind of cool, but you're also getting the blue grass. Luca, here you go. What's he saying here, though? Nanika! Well, that's stop and something. What's stopping with a roof on its head? I don't know. Mm, well, he doesn't seem too unhappy, at least. And here you go. Big buff furry guy. Everyone seems happy enough, and if I missed anybody too bad- Oh god, I forgot my girlfriend. Um, well, she's not my girlfriend yet, but it's just a matter of time. Mm, she likes fishing, right? Then I bet she'd like a fish dish. Nah, she's already talked about fish. Let's get her an actual fish. Bet she'll like that. Here, fish. Patiently. I think I see a tiny little fish in there. But it's entirely possible that I'm imagining things again. It's been known to happen. Okay, screw it. Let's go to the sea. Get her a squid or something. <laughs> the male furry is a marriage candidate, but the female furry isn't discreet. We have the dog already, Jagger.
They wanted the Canadian audience. Yosh Omono? Oh, I think he's saying, I hope I get a big one. You're not going to get anything there. Nothing's floating about. I haven't pulled up a boot or a can or a rare can yet. Where are they? Where are those fish at? I thought we could see them before we cast. I'm sure that... Oh, oh, that looks like a fish. Shanks, that was hard to see. Oh, that clipping. Well, clipping isn't right, but it's stitching the textures of the world together, and it does not look good. Is that it? I don't think so. Well, whatever it is, it still doesn't look good. Come to me, fish. Yeah, I wonder if you can get a whole litter of children out of Fuka. Sayori. No, Sayori. Ah, it's the... It's the smallest one I've ever had. Gotcha. He's, I think he's saying, let's hope we fish up a big one. Quite literally. Yeah, water walking shoes would be interesting here. Look at all the nothing we could walk out onto. Yeah, but you don't need to remember the Japanese fish names, because you can just look at them. Right. If we've got two of them, then that's all the better. We're going to find the crummier one and give it to our girlfriend. Oh, right, my boots. I can put on my boots. What does it give us? Plus three defense. What's not to like? Uh, put the fish away. Don't know why they don't stack fish here. I got a level five one and a level one one. Well, you know which one Lucy's getting. I just noticed the fishing rod is literally just a branch. There's still leaves on it. Yeah, Lucy spared no expense on us. But that's just what we like, a thrifty girl. Hey Lucy, catch! Doshte Atashiga. Oh, what was that one again? Oh god, isn't that Tani? Isn't that Tani like Valley? Mmm. Atashiga. Oh, is that Ho? Atashiga Hoshimono. Yes, that would be it. Doshte Atashiga Hoshimono. Wakata no ya rune. How did you know exactly what I wanted? That said, the look on her face doesn't quite match up with what she's saying. That looks like a really strained thank you. Like, you've opened up your Christmas present and you've got a copy of Duke Nukem Forever. And the present giver says, I know you've been waiting for this for years. Here you go. And you've just, you got to crack out a smile. Because they obviously were thinking about you when they got this. They just weren't thinking any more than that. She wanted an alive fish. You just fished up. Yep. Okay, we did good. We got a present for our girlfriend in training. Oh my god. Level 4 affection. That's hubba hubba zone with her. Uh, then again, for some reason, we've not even been focusing on Luca, but Luca's got the hots for us. Uh, I mean, I can't say no to the kind old lady Yuki. Everybody else is pretty cold towards us. Hina likes us a fair bit. I don't have a problem with that. I got a bit of a problem with you, though. But don't worry. When there are problems, I have solutions. Mmm, here we go, a stick. Now the funny thing about the dragon girl is that nobody ever invites her to the festivals. So we'll tell her that we were thinking about her when we picked up this dirty stick. And we'll just throw it at her. Oh, dang, got desk blocked. No, I don't want it. Don't want to listen to you. No, don't whip her with the stick either. 
Where'd the stick go? The, the, the smaller of the sticks, that is. I guess I accidentally picked it up. Anyway, here, have a stick. <laughs> Oi! Nanda kore wa? Hey, what the hell is this? Watashi wo oko ra setai no ka. Watashi wo oko ra setai no ka. I don't know what she means, but third time a charm for the Oxford Japanese mini dictionary. Okurase. Okurase. O. Ku. Oko. Oko. I'm on Oko. I got there fast. Navigating a Japanese dictionary is, um. It's slow going. Oko. Ra. 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 Oko. Okuru. Okoe. Okona. Maybe it's Okuru of some sorts. Ah, to lose one's temper. And it's ending with uh, Tai no Ka, so she's asking us if we want her to lose her temper. Well, I, I just kind of need to lower you and how much you like me. Because, you know, three's a crowd. There we go, get down. Yeah, it was. And I would have known that if it was in Kanji, because I've, I've seen that one. Uh, right. Well then, job well done. Wait, what, what did I do for you? Oh, we've made everyone like us! Yes, and that's made, um... Uh, who are you again? Julian. That's made Julian happy. Sasuga Marvin Kundaze! Ji Machina Doryo Kuga! Me or... Again, this guy does not like speaking in Kanji. Anyway, he's saying, that's amazing, Marvin. Who would have thought that you could actually go and speak to people around here? Uh, I actually am not all that sure on what he's following up with here. Uh, and what are we saying? Oh, we got that uh, string around the earth and mouth again. Oh, it's uh, Muzugashi. Muzugashi Kashi. Oh, <laughs> I think we're saying that this kid knows some difficult words here, but I am unsure what those words were. Mokori ira nai kara ageru yo. Mokori ira nai kara ageru. Well, he's going to give us something. What's he going to give us? Aisatsu no... Oh Christ, I know this one. Magic! You're gonna give me some magical stuff. You're gonna give me greeting magic, of course! That's a thing that you get in this game and I have no idea what you do it for other than dash cancelling. Moto nakayoku naretara minato boken dekiru... Who's teaching this kid magic, anyway? Moto naka yoku, more better everybody. More better everybody. Mina to boken de kiru yo ni naru ka. Okay, he wants to get better at doing something with everyone, but what exactly? I don't know. Maybe he himself wants to make better friends with everyone. He seems like a bit of a loner. Okay, we have got greeting magic. I really do not know what to do with this. It was really good in trolling in Rune Factory. Oh, this is the wrong place to put it. This is the right place to put it. So... Oh, crikey. I wonder if it does anything. I never really looked into greeting magic in Rune Factory 4, other than knowing that it could dash cancel, and even then I didn't use it. Alright, let's try it. Hopefully there's someone that's not moving around. Ah, Mutton!
what, what, what are we even getting out of this? Everyone's getting a little thing above their head, so maybe, just maybe, let's uh, let's check out Puri, because we haven't interacted with Puri whatsoever today. Puri has got, oh man, 26% level 1. So if we bury our head into her there, oh wow! Ooh, I did not know that! So this actually increases friendship rating with people around you. So it's a really low effort way to get a lot of people to like you, especially at the festivals where they're all gathered together. Now I'm going to assume it only works once. It'd be really funny if it worked several times. We made our way up to 30, right? Yeah, it's still 30. And then if we talk to her, but ignore what she says, because I don't, I don't really want to listen to it, we can bring up to 46. So it's not as impressive as just talking. And if we give her, not my level 10 grass, but uh, oh, navigating this with um, analog is an exercise in frustration. It was 46, right? Take this grass. You are, for some reason, indebted to me for all that grass. And up it goes. So the greeting magic is a bit of a shotgun blast. It's not going to do a lot, but it'll hit a lot of people, especially at festivals. Which kind of makes me feel like it's overall a waste of time. So let's just disable that, because I'm just going to accidentally use it in combat and end up a sitting duck. Okay, good job, Marvin. You did great. That's a low bow. It's not low enough. Grovel. Uh, we've got a lot of different things going on right now. <laughs> the dog is still sick and wants some more cold medicine. But I'm not giving it to you, because I don't know how to get it. Level 2... Oh, yes. This I want. This I definitely want. He wants me to produce a level 2 turnip. Now, this will probably be the trigger behind level 2 items appearing. I hope he acknowledges the level 2 thing I already plucked out. But we can't be sure yet. Right. Level 2... What's the next thing? Is it level 2 or higher? Because I'm not sure about the kanji that comes before above there. Anyway, level 2 turnips shipping, right? He specifically wants me to ship. Have you been shipping level 2, and let's assume it's or higher, um, turnips? Higher level turnips are something. Dozen daga rebel no takai kabu no seeds are important for some reason. Mm. Ah, to grow higher level crops like the turnip, you need higher level seeds. I have a higher level seeds. The levels height of the seeds of the turnip. Harvesting... Kama? Kama? Oh, the sickle. Ah, if you use the sickle to cut them down, you'll get higher level seeds. Good to know. Harvesting... Shita Kabu wa... Yeah. Harvest it, ship it. But I already did. Oh, he's not taking that for an answer. Right, so I'm going to have to harvest this Kabu tomorrow. And it should be ready tomorrow. Yeah, it's 98% ready and it's level 2. It's a shame I wanted to sickle it to get a level 3 seed. And if you were really desperate, you could save scum. That man, I hate this confetti. Look at it. Ah, oh, it's like that horror puzzle game. Where a bunch of kids go to camp and all die. It was really quite scary, actually. I don't know if I ever streamed it, though. Okay, jolly good. What do we do now? I think we should, since we've tended to all our crops and generally done all the everything, we should try out some cooking and then go and punch some things. That's the natural order. I like there's a quality overlay for the crops. You mean this? This is because I have a magnifying glass equipped. If I unequip it, it goes away. In Rune Factory 4, you can merge a magnifying glass with your hat, and then you will always have this overlay when you're looking at crops, and that's the best thing you can do. 
It's worth losing out some optimal uh, buffs on your hat just for that, because it's a pain to equip in a magnifying glass each time, and it saves you the space in your backpack for it as well. Okay, there's already nine stuff in the fertilizer bin. I dropped off all of my materials there. And... I'm going to keep these turnips for cooking with. Is there anything else I want to ship right now? I would quite like to ship the bell, but I could also go and tame that boss monster. That's actually a good thing for us to do. We'll, um, we'll try and be a cheeky bugger, get a few bells, and then try to tame it. Uh, I am not above save scumming on boss taming, because it's a horrible thing in, uh, in Rune Factory games. Or any of this crap that I haven't shipped yet. Yeah, I actually haven't shipped an earth crystal. I already shipped that, I know that. Okay, here it is. This is the suppository that we picked up for winning the tournament. What is it though? It's a knowledge strength sapramento. It's going to boost my knowledge if I eat it. Or it's going to give me one and a half grand if I ship it. Out it goes. We don't need knowledge where we're going. Might as well ship that fish, it's not doing anything for me. Uh, I haven't shipped a Tamago. Let's sh Whoa! One Tamago is worth 285 gold. These... How about the milk? 200... Oh my days! These, these animals are profitable for me. 105 on the pickles. I've already shipped them before. I think I'll keep it for the rune points rather than anything else. Well, no. I'll ship it. 100, 100 bucks is alright for me. Just wait till you see the honey. Yeah, honey is good. But I don't have enough space in my barn. I need to elongate the old barn. I need a refrigerator as well, because otherwise I can't really get rid of these... Uh, get rid of these... What's the word I'm looking for? God, English is hard when you're juggling languages here. Ingredients. Ingredients. Jinx Jake, come on, you can still English good. Learning English doesn't come easy for Scots, so now I have to combine it with Japanese. These ingredients will do fine just sitting around inside my storage chest, but ingredients that are used for cooking I can't shove in there. That includes things like recipe bread. Maybe it includes potions? Oh, I can shove potions in there. That's fine, I don't need high-level potion for that. This is quite nice. I've got a fair bit of space inside my backpack. I feel like it's more than you... Mm, I'm not sure if it's more than you got in Rune Factory 4 at this point. What's our capacity right now? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. That seems about right, but I can't be sure. Just gonna do some cooking. My cooking level is pathetically low. All I can really do is make more um, pickled pickled caboos. But I will make pickled caboos. Oh my god, this is consolitis to the max. I gotta press that every time. There must be a way, like L or R or anything. You hurt me, game. You hurt me sometimes. Alright, wonderful. Did I get any levels up from that? We were at level 6, and now we are at level 10. Sweet, that was some good cooking. Now maybe, just maybe, we can learn something from our cooking breads. Now the cooking bread is currently only going to teach us things we can do at a basic crafting counter. I'm going to need to get myself like a knife and a pot and an oven to learn more. Yeah, see I'm still stuck on this because I don't have more cooking apparatuses. But we will get them. I've also cooked myself up a whole load of pickled uh, turnips, but we shall... We'll sell them. i got too many of them anyway. Yeah, nobody needs this much pickled turnip in their life. That said, I could well go for some pickles right now. Not pickled cucumbers, but like uh, a sorted pickle dish would be lovely. There, that's good. Still some to keep us rune-pointed up, or healthed up if we go out. 
And I think we should go out. So let's go and try our luck at the boss monster. Ah, right. We can choose different places in here to go to, can't we? But what are our options here? The entrance to it, the inside of it, or the back of it? Let's go for the back. How about pickled herring, since you're in Sweden? See, I really quite like eating fish, so I'd have no problem with that. Uh, I think that's something to do around Christmas time. I remember being at some kind of Christmas feast, Swedish one. It was fine and all, except they had the jelly sausage, and that stuff is just not right. Like, nobody should have to eat jelly sausage. Can I just skip this? Oh, thank goodness. Right, let's try this out. I forgot the bleeding bell, didn't I? Gib. Is she gonna drop it, or what? Or is only one chance per monster? Alright, well let's try this then. Let's say... Um... Um... So you just warp away? Please tell me it doesn't take me all the way home. The loading screens will do me in. No, God, no. I've never said that my native language wasn't English. Or if I did, that was said in jest. Almost all Scots are brought up with English. You have to go really far north and west to find Scots that are actually brought up with Gaelic. And those poor, insulated children, they deserve better. You need to attack it until the lock that appears when you lock it is gone. Eh? Attack it until the lock that appears when you lock on it is gone. Yeah, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Alright, fortunately these fists of mine are made for beating ass. I think it might be dead before we- oh, there we go. Give! Hey, I got the bell! Sweet. And then we just warp away and grab another one. Well, I think I'll grab five of them and then try and tame it and uh, I'm gonna save scum the hell out of that because if the taming boss monster system is unchanged then that is one opportunity they had to improve the game that they did not take. Even better combat than Sekiro! <laughs> Part of what's making this painful is coming to it after Sekiro, which had such great combat. Oh boy, I'm, I'm a little low on the old RP, but that's okay. Itadakimasu. It's good to eat every day, because it'll bring up your eating skill. You can just fast travel to the boss room. Ah, uh, see, I don't know how to fast travel there from within the boss room. I only know how to fast travel home from there. There must be a way, but I don't know what it is. Press Y and navigate, thank you. We done yet? Eat my magic then. There we go. Give! So if I press Y... And, ah, ooh. So I can just warp to where I am as well. Well, that cuts out the middleman quite nicely. Hopefully it doesn't have to load. Oh, wow. Okay, that is pretty good. I can see why this is used. You can't capture this thing? I can and I will. I'm going to enslave this thing. How many of these uh, bell things do I have? Three. I'll get my fourth and then hopefully I'll be fine.
Oh, dashing cancels your charge up. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Give. And then... No, wrong button. Pressed uh, X instead of Y. Which I never would have normally done if I hadn't been inundated with Xbox controls. Painful. For your daily grinding needs, please pay a visit to Lucky What. I don't know how Lucky does it with those long, awful games that he spends his time on. I mean, I know a thing or two about playing awful games, but... To what end? He's still playing Ogre Story 64. And he's still playing Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Despite exclaiming that Heroes of Might and Magic 3 is an old and bad game for old and bad Slavs. Alright, now, if it's anything like four, you can brush, you can brush them for a completely unknown effect. As in, you don't know if this is actually going to help. It kind of looks like it will, but will it? Who are you? Am I, oh, there we go. It looks like it likes the brushing, but whether or not it actually helps in the taming chance, I don't know. I'm not sure if anybody knows. Well, this thing can't even hurt me, so I might as well just get up close and personal and yoshi yosh it. Nobody had Lucky Under Duress. To exclaim his true feelings about Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Alright, it's not responding anymore to my brushes, so now I'm gonna take out this bell, and we get four gacha attempts! Will you love me? You will not love me. Will you love me again? Take two. No. Take three. And don't don't put it on the ground, man. I want that. Oh, or just auto pick it up. Hey, hey, hey! Not bad. Not only did we get it, we also have one leftover that we can sell. Okay, who who's gonna be our giant fox thing here? Don't you have to open the circle to tame it? No, I had to open the circle to uh, catch it in order to grab its drop there. Alright, I am going to call you... C... Oa. Oh. Easy money. You better be really good. I like that attack. And I should be able to ride you quite well. Uh, oh, that's right. that's right. Let's give you a bit of a Yoshi Yosh. And let's give you... Let's give you some food. Animals like food. There we go. Now we should already have you at, like, level one liking meanness. Excellent. The animals will passively grow more attached to you over time just from feeding them, so it's a good idea to always have enough food for them. But I'm curious about Sihoa's stats here. They're only level 5, but they have 800 hit points. Their attack power is 43. What's my attack power? 90. Okay, well, uh, for a boss monster, you're pretty crap. How many tails is that? Is that 9? 9 tails is the go-to number for these kinds of foxes, right? But I feel like it's more than 9. Then again, I'm not good at counting. Okay, well, I think the real reason I've got you is to ride you. So let's go. Yeah, it's pretty fast. The Ninetales Pokemon card was really powerful. Absolutely choked out Charizard. 
People used to play big money for a shiny Charizard back in the day. I feel like I'm doing pretty much no damage here, because I'm doing pretty much no damage here. Alright, forget it, I can fight properly with my fists. Yeah, how do you like those? Oh yeah, of course, if I have you with me here, you're gonna get some levels up and actually become a half-decent uh, fighter. Or so I hope. What did that level up do for you? Well, already gave you a chunk more hit points. Good. The pandemic made Pokemon cards go to crazy price as well. I don't have any of my Pokemon cards still. So, too bad. No exploitation for me. Well, not of that, at least. Actually, how on earth does that cause and effect line up there? Well, to be fair, a lot of things have spiked up in price. I dread to think how much holidays are going to spike up in price and down in availability. Ah, forget it. I've already got you. I don't need to hang around here anymore beating up on the wildlife. Let's head home. Righto, we're making good headway, especially because there's usually a quest to befriend the boss monster. And since we've already done it, I'm not going to have to go on my way for it. In any case... Okay, oh, <laughs> The smiley face persisted. Oh, everybody's done with the festival at long last. They've all lost an important day of work, or whatever else they do, because I forced them to have a festival, which I announced at... 7 p.m. last night. Fools. Know who runs this town. It's me. Uh, what else was I going to do? Yes, I should ship that bell that I got, just so it ends up in my shipped collection. And it was worth a few hundred, wasn't it? I feel like I haven't felt the squeeze of money at all so far. I should definitely get some upgrades going, just so I have some outlet for all this dosh. Wait, wasn't I going to ship you? I've already shipped you. Okay, I kept the higher level one. That is good. A lot of this is good. What I want to do tomorrow is buy a lot of seeds. Preferably higher level seeds. Ooh, I shipped my potato, right? Did I ship a level 2 seed? Maybe I, maybe no. I... I'm unsure about this. I'd be taking a bit of a risk if I shipped my level 2 potato seed in case it didn't have an effect. But I want to be able to buy level 2 seeds. So I'm just going to take a take a shot at it. I'll even sell my level 2 grass seed. Actually, I need that grass. I need to expand my grass operation, and for that I need a lot of grass seeds. Hmm. I got my level 2 tomato seed as well. I'll ship it all. I'm gonna. Just, I'm just gonna put all of it on the line there. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's what Marvin's getting up to. Ah, thanks for mentioning making because I should go and check what other makings I can do. Yo, Liza, what are you doing today? I'm gonna check and see if I can shock the people in town with another outrageous decree. Um, the various kinds of fishing festival, the flower festival, and the Bafaimo, the Bafaimo, Bafaimo, Baf, Baf. Anybody wanna 
have a stab at that. There's some kind of summer festival on the 11th. The Buffamo. The Buffamo. Buffamo? How does that work? Maybe it's more like the old-fashioned Harvest Moon Cow Festival, where whoever brings in the best cow wins a cow that produces golden milk. Oh my days, that was, that was something else. Animals are such a long-term investment in the old Harvest Moon. Good times. Fishing contest. Fishing crazy girl. Oh, right, that's a good way to show superiority to Lucy is to beat her in the various fishing competition because she's probably favourite for that. I need more points for it. What else can be done? Expansion of... Oh, I don't even know. Also, I need some points for a fridge and things like that, I bet. Hmm. Pet the Buffamo Festival. Sounds like a good festival. In any case, that's stuff for us to see to tomorrow in the game, so let's make our save. Hi. Now, I'm going to wrap it up here, because we've been going on for, for over four hours. I'm able to last longer and longer in these streams without getting too exhausted. Maybe that's because there's less reading and more actual gameplay, or maybe I'm just getting more used to the moon runes here. Uh, honestly, I want to just continue playing this tomorrow, but I won't do that because it's Dominions 5 tomorrow, so I'd like to do it on Sunday. But I'm not doing it on Sunday because Sunday is both the weekly one-shot and a multiplayer of Roller Coaster Tycoon. And if you're watching and you think that sounds cool, you too can join in. Anybody can just join in with that. I plan on making a gigantic theme park with the newly upped limits in Open Roller Coaster Tycoon. I've got a free setup of it all. You can just grab it if you want to join in. Details will be on the Discord. Um... So I can't do it on Sunday either, so I guess I'm going to have to do drills tomorrow and Sunday instead. And maybe as a preamble to Bane Williams doing his Mario Marathon run, <laughs> again, uh, I'll have more of this on Monday. Because I don't I don't want to have to wait until the scheduled stream on Wednesday to play more of this. <sighs> but what I will be having more of is train building, and I'll be coming back for that in about an hour and a half. So until we are back for that, it's a cheers for me. And a cheerio.